This spring, WPT is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages ship for the ultimate adults-only luxury cruise experience. Featuring a WPT championship with a $1 million guarantee. When you're competing on the felt, enjoy world-class eateries, pickleball and golf in Grand Cayman and an epic pool party in the Bahamas. The Sexton Cup is heading out to see you could become the next WPT champion. Book your adventure today at WPTVoyage.com. All right, what is up? How we doing? Hopefully you guys are having a good Thursday evening. We are back at it. Best Bet Live coming to you. High stakes cash game we got going tonight. We got ourselves a 10-25 Nolan Hold'em cash game. Uh, we do run a little bit into a bit of a technical issue here to start with because uh, uh, they do run a double board bomb pot, but uh, Seth uh, uh, unfortunately put the uh, cards all the cards in the sensor so it read all the cards as one uh flop instead of uh one each so we will unfortunately uh lose this hand for the first go around but we do appreciate you guys hanging out with us so appreciate you guys watching you got myself ryan also known as country uh going to be joined by mike kruger card room manager best bet orange park in just a couple minutes but uh yeah appreciate you guys hanging out with us appreciate you guys watching what's up steve what's up max hey debbie how you guys doing in the youtube chat thank you for joining us early but uh let us know uh how everything is sounding how everything is looking for tonight's live stream uh we are starting us off six-handed but i do know that we do have a few other players that will be walking in momentarily but uh just definitely wanted to get the action going early uh for today and speaking of action very busy day today lots of action not just in our room but uh all across all the best bet promotions and there you hear the one and only mike kruger carter manager best bet orange park who uh had a busy day himself uh today with the promotion we got going on so like busy there busy here busy everywhere that's it, for sure it is indeed so uh first couple hands uh early walks but yeah, uh, for those that don't know, it's our big leap year promotion we got going on today at all three of our locations. $1,000 high hands every 30 minutes with monster high hand opportunities. Uh, we uh, actually saw a chop for the uh, first one uh, between our room and St. Augustine. Both our rooms uh, hit a, a royal flush during that time. So uh, we did end up chopping up the extra 2K. That would have been going to the highest high hand. Uh, for this time period, though, $5,000 to the highest high hand as well. So, yeah, again, it's uh, going to be going all night, going till midnight tonight is this promotion. So if you guys are out and about and you guys are looking for something to do, come on over to Jacksonville, come on over to Orange Park, go on over to St. Augustine. It only comes around once every four years. Yeah, <laughs> this is true, exactly. Now, maybe this explains why it's so busy. It's just a year of promotion that they wait for every four years. Could be basically the olympics of poker promotions absolutely oh look at this todd raising it up with the octo crab eight tray suited bumps it up to 500 so maybe he's feeling some of the trepidation early todd obviously wanted to love putting the aggression on mm -hmm. seen it time and time again here on the stream we're gonna see kyle put in the call for king queen though yep so here we go six four ace a good flop for todd to rep that ace yeah very much so you see Kyle check it over. Todd throwing out the seabed. Yep, Todd doing Todd things and is going to take it down with the Octo Crab. Easy game. Of course, uh, Todd uh, starting to become a live stream favorite because of his aggression and how he plays. Very entertaining player. And not afraid to mix it up both in table talk and play. That's oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> well, and also, like, I know uh, here in a minute we're going to be. Uh, joined by uh, a player you know very well 
Yeah. <laughs> Alan Lau. Familiar, familiar face. Yep. I've known Al quite a while, so. Yep. Very much a maniac. Loves action. Um, his very first time we saw him on the live stream, he <laughs> calls out a turn, skip, like, skip Don. Don puts in a raise, and Alan immediately goes all in. <laughs> and Don, confused Don so much, Don's like, I don't understand how you go from just calling to going to all in. <laughs> And Al them on their toes. Yep, and Allen ended up did taking the hand. Uh, Don had pocket kings. Allen had ace nine and an ace in the window, and uh, the rest is history. Yeah, hopefully, I know we're on a delay in real time. Allen joined the table. Should see him pretty soon. In the meantime, looks like the wine is beginning to come out. Action just getting started here. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, Ant says Kyle looking good. Um, I agree with you. Kyle looks pretty spiffy tonight. Ditch the hoodie for a nice collared shirt. Mm -hmm. Cleans up well, like most poker players. Mm -hmm. so Corbin limp in with the ace deuce. Yeah, of course, uh, we know Corey as well. Corey very much a guy that likes to be active at the table too, so... Should be a pretty uh, pretty fun table. Yeah. Meanwhile, here's Todd doing Todd things again. Bump it up to 500 with the pocket 10s. Yeah, I think Kyle was banking on that. We saw him just limp in with the ace king. Maybe hoping Todd would raise it up. Todd obviously a very strong hand. Could be doing this weaker. I see Kyle put in a back raise. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Here comes the three bet. I wonder if Todd is going mean, to... Obviously, he was asking how much Kyle had left behind. It's pretty much an all-in or fold at this point. Yeah, very much so. Just a matter of, does he think Kyle makes this kind of move with pocket nines, pocket eights, the hands he has dominated, or is it always a big pocket pair or ace-king? But he's just going to let the call. Maybe he does put Kyle on some sort of ace-king type hand like he has, and he's just looking for a safe flop. Trey, Trey, seven, flop there. It's about as safe as it gets. Yep, and there is uh, the all-in and the call from Todd, so here we are, off to the races. Kyle needs an acer and king to hit. And there's a queen, and the tens are gonna hold. Trey's full of tens, and Todd getting all of Kyle's chips to start off. Don't hate the play by Kyle at all. No. We already saw Todd raise it up big with ace tr eight tray er, just a minute ago. Mm -hmm. So he's aware that Todd might open very light, put in the back raise with the ace king. Yep. Just kind of ran into it there. Even running into it, most of the time it's going to be a flip, so. Neither player did anything. Really incorrect on that one. Sometimes that's just how it goes. Yeah, so it looks like Kyle's going to take a little bit of a trip. He's coming back. He is not leaving. He's going to... Uh, probably just load back up. Yeah, he did say he's coming back, so he's going to load back up, try to get back in there, try to mix it up. Kind of curious to see how these other players are going to play, too, because uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen Corbin play on a live stream. Uh, same with uh, Fee or um, uh, Henry I've actually seen play on a live stream before. So I know these guys do like to mix it up. On, like, texting? Or from like asking for a chip count, looking to put in that three bet and go for the size of seven hundred. Yeah, I mean, again, Todd doing Todd things, like and this time he also has another strong hand he's doing this with. Corbin's going to put in the call with his 6-5 suited. Corbin will get to play the hand in position, and obviously where that if he connects with this one, Todd might keep firing. That's a pretty good flop for 6-5. Pair of fives plus now open-ended. Seabed comes right in from Todd. 
go with a smaller size, betting 400 here. Corbin's just going to put in the call. Now board pairs and does bring out a club draw. Pretty good card for Corbin to see. And Todd just continuing the pressure. Betting a thousand. And really trying to represent an overpair to this board. And Corbin gonna go ahead and go all in. Yeah, I mean, considering Corbin had luck behind what's already in the pot. I don't think we can see Todd put in a call for 1,800 more, but obviously that's for a count. You know, if it's only 800 more, maybe he does put in the call. Sure. I know why Scott does this. This is like, this is unfair. Five, six. Oh, we're not supposed to be here. No, you're good. <laughs> I guess we're getting a uh, visitor. Thanks, all <laughs> <laughs> yep, so yeah, another eighteen fifteen to call. That's a pretty hefty call. Yeah, Todd just trying to get full calculation if he's getting the right price, especially yep. against a hand like Corbin has. That's a nice pot that's going to be shipped over Corbin's way. And Corbin, I guess, showed. Well, it showed one of them, look like. Yeah, I said, uh, we are getting some late arrivals. Alan will be walking in any minute, and uh, like I said, he'll definitely be bringing the action. Corbin's trying to recruit a player as we speak, it looked like there. Yeah. <laughs> definitely what it sounded like. I know Corey uh, was talking to some people, too, uh, before we got uh, things going as well. Uh, Corey... Uh, Kind of recruit, uh, I don't want to say recruited, but definitely talk some people into playing tonight on this 1025. And we see Kyle's came back now. Looks like he loaded back up. So he came back in for 4K. But yeah, again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to uh, a series. I know you're looking forward to, Mike. The, uh, I've heard it's a good series. The Run Good Poker Series uh, that's going to be making its return to Best Bet Jacksonville. Um, I forget, were you with us when we did our Run Good last year? Oh, yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought you were uh, with us uh, doing things for us and everything at that time. But, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. 300 k guarantee main event. $1,200 buy-in. multi day main event i think it's a three day event uh three three day ones with our final day for that main event for the run good series uh last year we were a checkpoint this year we're the destination wow we upgraded we did we did indeed just like Corey upgraded to a pair of force and it's gonna take this down um there is the one and only alan it has been a while since we've seen alan on this live stream Festive shirt like always. <laughs> like it might imagine he's not gonna play in this hand. Yeah. He, to pass. Yeah, he's gonna wait uh, for the button to pass and I think he's also yeah. Needing to color down his chips. Yeah, Run Good Poker Series, March 14th through the 24th. You can check out the entire tournament schedule on our website, bestbetjacks.com.
All right, so here we go. Three players at this flop. Queen nine suited versus five deuce versus ace. And a five on the board. Ace deuce for Corey. So Kyle, pair of fives. Actually does just check around. Yep, now board pairs. I don't necessarily know if that's a card Kyle will like too much. So I'll check around. Well, he likes that card. He likes the fact he boated up now. Yeah, we're going to see Corey be the one to fire out at it, though. Yep. Corey uh, thinking someone didn't really have anything. But Kyle does take it down. Nice little hand for Kyle to come back, too, after uh, getting stacked earlier by Todd to come back and uh, win, a, win a hand. Give these scoops some chips up. Every now and then you just slump buster. Yep. And that would be it. But yeah, guys, again, our big promotion going on right now. Um, our leap year bonus day. Right now from 5 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m., the highest high hand during this time. We'll get an extra $5,000 on top of the uh, $1,000 high hand that we're doing every 30 minutes. It's pretty big. It's been a pretty fun day. It's been a good buzz in the air. Oh, yeah. I visited two out of the three rooms, so I think I have a feel, good yeah. feel for it. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, St. Aug was busy, too. Like, yeah, just everyone uh, has been busy. We're going to see Corey get busy putting in a raise here with 6-5 suited. Mm -hmm. Was over two limpers. Thanks, man. Henry over limped with the ace jack rather than putting in a raise. Just a little under repped is Henry here after he puts in the call. Maybe these two heads up. 10-9-6 rainbow flop. Yep. Corey flops bottom pair out of position. Let's see if he wants the continuation bet. So he goes for about a one-third pot size bet, firing out 350. It's 925. All right, chips are in hand for Allen. So, in the uh, words of good old JR, uh, business is about to pick up. Allen's in the game. Uh, by the way, I uh, do want to uh, share some information. There's uh, some changes happening at some of the best bet locations regarding some uh, buy-ins that we're going to be doing soon. So uh, for our location, um, Best Bet Jacksonville, uh, if you're a 2-5 No Limit Hold'em player, the uh, max buy-in is changing from 800 to 1,000. So now the 2-5 buy-ins on the floor is going to be 200 min, $1,000 at max. Uh, one two PLO. We have put a cap on the one two PLO now. It's a one hundred min, eight hundred dollar max. That's going to be taking place. Uh, these changes, by the way, are going to be starting tomorrow in uh, the room. And then uh, Orange Park, a little change for them. Uh, two two at Orange Park is now going to have the three hundred dollar max, the same as our room and St. Augustine. So yeah, all three rooms going universal. Mm -hmm. Everybody's buy-ins will be the same across all. No Limit Hold'em and PLO games. Nice. Yeah, so just be uh, aware of those changes that do start tomorrow. Unless you're watching this in two days, then they started yesterday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so now we got a, a straight is out there. And Todd is going to take this one down. That was a pretty quick fold, but he actually turned double gutted. Yeah, he did. Really weird way, but yeah, six or nine would have gotten there. Chris asked, "What about the cap uh, for two five at OP?" So as of tomorrow, the two five buy-in will be two hundred to one k. Yep, that is that is going to be universal across all the rooms, as uh, Mike just said. You know, all the best bet locations are going to match all buy-ins. All right, nice, out. Nice to build some consistency. Yeah, Those yeah. Pros and cons to all sides. Absolutely. All right, Allen decides to uh, go ahead and limp in with his pocket fours. I saw Corbin over limp, and now. Now Corey puts in the uh, 
pretty big raise, trying to isolate the limper. Especially if he's got history with Allen, knows he likes to mix it up. Mm -hmm. Love to clear the field out like he does here. He does, so here Taking we go. Heads up. heads up. Pocket fours versus ace jack suited. Eight, queen, seven. Looks like Allen's going to go ahead and continue. 600 to bet. Yeah, just leads right out. Big near full pot. Rather than checking in flow to the preflop razor. Mm -hmm. he takes, gets to take it down. Came to play. He did. Yeah, for those who uh, have never seen Allen play on our live stream, or it's been a while, uh, certified nutcase. <laughs> but he does bring the action. He doesn't drive to the room to fold. No, he does not. He will bluff, though. He's not a calling station. He's a he's a get after it type. Very Which much be so. fun. Him and Todd kind of across the table from each other could be, I, be cool. I'll be honest. When I know when I heard about Allen uh, joining this game, I'm like, please let me see a heads up match between he and Todd. Because a lot of times guys sitting next to each other create that dynamic. But now being across the table could be interesting with everybody sitting in between. Catch some people in the middle of a battle. Could get interesting. Mm -hmm. Especially if we see things like we saw in that last hand where Corey puts in like an isolation raise with Todd behind him. So imagine Todd will pick up on that dynamic and start putting in light three bets of his own. Yeah, that's one thing about Todd. He definitely pays attention to how the table dynamics are working. Look at the dynamic here. Yeah. He flops it all. Queen 5-5. Five, five. Gonna slow play it. Yeah, essentially flopped everybody dead. Yeah, Todd has a flush draw, so when it checks to him, he is gonna throw out a bet. If he continues to trap here and a diamond comes out, could be huge for him. Does just call. A lot of times on scary boards, you don't want to slow play your hands. But when you have a hammer lock like this, it's a great spot to do so. Yeah. Obviously, you're you're quite all right if your opponent improves. See, he's gonna be praying for that diamond to come out. Yeah, if a diamond does come out, it's gonna be fireworks. But that is not. That's a six of spades. Kind of a blank. Now Fee is gonna go ahead and fire out. Well, less than half pot, 400. Which for Todd's exact hand, pretty good price to throw out there. Keep the flush draw calling. Yeah. Oh, no. The diamond does come. Real interesting to see if, if he puts Todd on the flush and he checks it over where he bets big for value. He's going to put in a $1,300 bet, it looks like. So about two-thirds of the pot. Might no. be lucky for lucky for Todd, he, for that price, he might only put in the call. Still yeah. going to be really hard not to raise. Yeah, he does put in the call, so. Could have lost more, that's for sure. Could have called, yeah. And just like that, Fee gets involved and uh, takes down a pretty good hand. Yeah, good situation for him, good run out. Fortunately for Todd, he was holding the second nut flush. May have put in the raise if he was holding the nut flush. Right. Whew. Yeah, guys, again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. This cash game we got going for you here on this uh, Thursday night, 10:25. No limit hold'em cash game we got for you on a Thursday night. Not bad. Not at all, and it looks like the 50 has become mandatory, so yep. officially a 10 25 50 game yep. on Thursday night. Yep. Playing big. I like it. Hey, Rowan, what's up? You here? What's up, this Rowan? Daddy and Scott and <laughs> Uncle Ant. Brother Rowan. Got him from 30. 
I got them from 30 to 2, and I love them all. Love you, Emily. Live here. If you can get in, got to make about two more thousand, and I'll be in here. <laughs> I love it. I hope you saw it. I hope you saw it. I do look forward to it. Bye, guys. Thank y'all. Good luck. Yeah. I got anybody watching at home. They can get here about a 10 minute delay. 15. Is it Decker? Me? Huh? Is it Decker? Yes, yeah, my dad. Hey, I'll ruin that one by taking you to a boat cave. That one's two and a half. <laughs> Here we did see Todd raise it up pre-flop during all the hellos. Oh shit! I'm sorry. No I'm sorry. <laughs> see Todd. I like to see bet here small after checks to him. Does have a gut shot straight draw on two overs. Alan called. We're see Kyle put in the check raise and immediately called by Todd. 400. Yep. Alan actually with the best hand, he's going to put in the call as well. So all three players off to the turn. Down King of Clubs. One by one, they check over to Todd to see if he wants to rep this king. Thanks, bro. So just going to check it back. Seeing multi way on a raised flop. Now, River Five of Clubs, so we're going to see Allen's hand stay the best. But imagine he's betting here as a bluff, though. Hard to think that a pair of trays is the best hand at this point. Fires out a half pot size bet, gets snap folds. Another pot going Allen's way. It's both Todd and Corey there with the gut shot. Straight draw, didn't catch the nine or improve to any sort of pair. So Allen getting in the mix early, stacking some chips both times he does. It's gonna be fun if he can. Keep his foot on the pedal, keep that momentum going. Imagine he'll keep trying. Action starts on Kyle. He's got King, Queen of Clubs. Can just limp in rather than open it up. Todd with Queen Jack offsuit, gonna put in the raise. 200 is the price. Looks like Corey will be the only customer. Kyle, rather, only customer here as he puts in the call. So heads up, about 500 in the middle to King, eight tray, all spades. Kyle flops the best of it. Todd quickly checked behind, though, elected not to see bet. After Kyle bets the turn, he's going to take this one down. Oh, I've been fortunate timing for Todd there, not to see bet on that flop. Until Kyle was going nowhere after flopping top pair. No, I got it. Good new dealer coming in. A lot of times you'll see these guys do some bomb pots. See if they like to tonight. $50 for the time, gotcha. Two boards, hold the board. There you hear. They're going to do $50 bomb pots. Come, become pretty customary here on the live stream in these bigger games. Looks like they're going to go with a price of $50 per person. Prior to doing so, we do see the current standings. Half an hour in, got Fee, Corbin, Allen all up right now. Jimmy, can I get a water and a sugar cream? Kyle, the only player grossly stuck at the moment. We saw him get stacked early on. And in terms of V-Pips, everybody's in action. Todd and Allen, Corey right there too, leading the way, but nobody under 25%. That's a good good sight to see for things to come. So anybody unfamiliar, they will be doing double board hold'em bomb pots. Pot will get shot between each board. Going in the hold'em variety. Nine of hearts, four of clubs. Check three. Jack-Jack-10 so down bottom. King-9-4 up top. Let's see if anybody can wake up with a monster here. Bet, 200. Fold six, call seven. Sounds like Corey. Oh, pocket four is massive. Massive hand on that top board. Flopping bottom set. Thanks again, y'all. Appreciate it. Todd puts in the call with his pair of kings up top. 
<laughs> Just gonna be those two heads up here off the turns. there. Taking it down with the ace queen after the raise. Pretty quiet on this table so far. I already saw Todd drinking the first glass of wine. I might see everybody kind of feeling each other out, loosen up here in a minute. Hasn't been too much in the shortage of action. Hopefully it will continue and things get a little crazy. And the opposite of crazy here is it's just a couple of limps until he gets to Todd. And he's going to raise it up, try to thin the field. They get 300 to go with the ace tray of clubs. One, one by one, and everybody's going to put in the call. <laughs> there is five ways in a raised pot. He's down ace 10 four, so that is a bottom set for Kyle. Top top pair. Does continuation bet when it checks over to him. Be with a gut shot. Might peel, put in the call. Alex not to, holding no spades. Allen with a straight draw. He's going to put in the call. Now action back on Kyle. Let's see if he puts the check raise in here. Two spades on board. Any Broadway card could make a straight. So check raise seems pretty mandatory. Goes with 1,600. Hoping to get it all in against a big ace, possibly ace 10, ace 4. Any sort of combo draw. See Todd get away from top pair after a little bit of deliberation. Allen now said he's the type to get after it. Doesn't want to fold a straight draw, it looks like. Assembling the call. So if Kyle can fade a five on the turn. We're going to see him take down a massive pot. Already 5K in the middle. Ooh, that was close. Six on the turn. Almost. There's the rip from Kyle. Allen does let it go. So 5K pot getting shipped Kyle's way there. He's able to fade the straight draw on the turn. He's gonna take that nice pot down with a set of fours.
That was a much needed hand Kyle uh, needed, for sure. Everybody's doing I don't think that's true, Shane. Everybody. I also find that doubtful. But hopefully you're doing well, Shane. And anytime you want to invite me and country to the Aria, you just let us know. <laughs> right? Meanwhile, here we saw Todd put in the call. B put in the call. Just one by one. Everybody's calling this huge raise by Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Corey's like, well, what the heck? <laughs> Very hard to isolate any limpers in this game. Everyone's kind of yeah getting after it. So here we go. <laughs> this is this is another five way <laughs> five way pot where everyone just called uh, three seventy five and there's already two K in the middle. And it looks like Todd immediately just goes yeah. all in. Pretty good spot for Todd to yeah. do so. Open ender. He's got an open ender, back door to clubs. Eight six tray really favoring the big blind calling range. Mm -hmm. And Allen with a pair of sixes asking for the chip count. <laughs> it's a pot size. <laughs> I just realized it is. Man, Todd uh, lost a couple hands, huh? It's going to be. Todd wasn't lying. It was about a pot size. Yeah, he was. He was two, right. A little less than actually with 2K in the middle. So. Oh, and then Allen puts in the call. Let's go twice. Let's go twice. Sure. Two times. All right, two, All right. Times. two times. All right, twice. Two times. Run it twice. On the turn. So I think the first hand goes to Allen. Yep, Allen six holds. And oh, now he's got two pair here. Oh. oh. Todd got there with the seven on the rib. So they are going to chop, chop it up. The old nine, seven, and nine, six getting shown down in a $400 rib. You see everybody's. Everybody's kind of making a face at the yeah. table, like. So those were the hands we're seeing. Yeah, Alan. <laughs> Alan turns two pair, and then Todd better, River to better two pair. Go figure. <laughs> not how Todd was trying to get there. No, it's not. Going for the five or ten, obviously. <laughs> Kirk is uh, Kirk's over here as well, uh, checking out the table uh, during his break. I mean, wh why wouldn't you? I mean, look who we got here. <laughs> we got Ray over on YouTube saying, buckle up. Oh, yeah. Rob over on Facebook saying, whoa, nothing, but big bet. It's just started, yeah. It's yeah, I think everybody out there is right. I think this game's about to start getting a little crazy. Yeah. Um, saw everybody's face at Showdown go, oh, oh, that's the game we're in now. Okay. <laughs> so that's what we're playing. Suddenly everybody's a little bit more jovial. Yeah. <laughs> Went from a quiet table to a very talkative one all of a sudden. God, it's a fun game. Very much a fun game. Fun game to watch, too. So look at this. Now we got a limp pot here. We had a five of way uh, flop with everyone calling the raise. And here we go, now we got a limp pot. I mean, we just saw the last couple of hands. People tried to isolate the limper and everybody came along. So look at this. Corey has a flush draw. Allen straight flop, flush draw. Straight flush draw, yeah. Allen flopped uh, two pair, Jack eight. The toppest of the two pair. Yep. This could create some fireworks. But imagine Allen checked two check raise. Corey does throw out a bet with his straight flush draw. See Henry thinking about it with his pair of eights first. Bad news for him if he decides to put in a call here. 
Mercy Allen throws some chips in the middle. Continuing to slow play, just puts in the call. Clean on the turn. Did put a second spade on board. See Corey slow down and check it back. Now River, seven. Not of the diamond variety. Obviously, Corey's holding it. Ah, my hopes were high for some flopped fireworks, but it would have been nice. Instead, those fireworks fizzled out. Yeah. Ended up being like the sparklers. All right, we got a we got an invite from Earl to the Aria. This is good news. This is good news. My life, <laughs> my life is progressing just the way I hoped it would. Earl, appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Corey going to put in the put in the call of this pair of sevens. Hope that maybe Alan was bluffing with a missed diamond draw. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. So Alan gets to take down that pot. Todd caught a needly, uh, needling fee for uh, not going all in when he had Queen's Hole. <laughs> well, that's back before the game got crazy. Mm -hmm. Back in the long, long ago. <laughs> yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah, they were feeling each other out, loosening it up, you know. 10:25:15. If it was the way it is now, I think he would have been happy to just pump Ooh, it in there. Heart, heart, heart. It's going to auto this one. Auto this one. Sorry about that. 50 to go. Auto button to the 7. Call 3. Fold 4. Fold 6. Raise buck 25 into 7. Fold 9. Todd going to be raising it up to 125. Fold 1. My man. Let's go. <laughs> call. 2. <laughs> Allen with Raise deuces calls. And now Corbin. And then Corbin, yeah. Puts in the 3 bet to 500. And now you're right. well, we, I said we could easily see both players seven. put in the call. Mm-hmm. Allen obviously getting a good price to set mine here. Get a call. <laughs> Alan just him and Corbin over 5k effective. Allen just looks like he just enjoys life. I don't think I've ever seen him not smile. I don't think I've ever seen him not smile either. Might smile here knowing his deuces could be good. Yeah, rainbow check. board, 10 4 5. Go so check around. Not two pair. Yeah, another 10 on the turn. Completes the rainbow as well. Mm -hmm. Pretty safe card after the action. Checked around on the flop for Allen. Allen's check. Uh, check it. He's don't play it Cor safe. Corbin in a similar boat might think his hand is best if nobody has a pair out there. He's got the old nut no pair. But Corbin stabbed. Allen called and now Queen on the river. Let's see what Allen likes to do here. It's like he's thinking about leading. Bet 15. Corbin don't like it. may think that Allen is stabbing here. It's just something that whiffed, you know, six, seven, seven, eight, any sort of suited connector that had a straight draw that bricked out. Hard to imagine somebody with a little bit of showdown value fires out rather than checking. Oh. I never see Corbin look him up. <laughs> the deuces are good, so Allen. Scooping over a 5k pot. His deuces never loses. Thank you, thank you. Nice easy game. Easy game. No wonder he smiles all the time. But if that's any indication of how this game is going to go. Saw Corbin, Corbin put in the call with ace high. Going to be fun. Everybody's looking each other up pretty light today. Mikey Mike says the old value bluff. Indeed. It's your 50 if you want. It's always best to, it's always nice to bluff with the best hand. Corey, you're first. Corey added on a thousand, you got that too. Fold four, six, seven. Two piece and a nine. Fold one. <laughs> See uh, some Allen fans in the uh, chat. It's hard not to be a fan of this guy. It's definitely not. I mean, he's a very pleasant person to be around. Very much loves action. 
Corbin two pairs, sevens and queens with his king. He's gonna fire out here. Alan thinking about something weird. He looks down at 10 high. <laughs> he wanted to. <laughs> he, oh. wanted, he wanted to do something. <laughs> I don't believe you, but I have crap. Yep. <laughs> But you didn't expect to win that one. <laughs> when, I, when I called. When you called, yeah, I was like, oh, man. I thought you were told. 10.25, I probably should have. <laughs> 10 to go. Oh, man. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us, though. Appreciate you guys watching. It's, it's uh, 10.25. Nolan Mahomes game. We'll take this live stream to about 11 o'clock tonight. Corbin raising it up with the jacks. See how many people want to come along this time after a couple of limps. Yeah, I'm noticing as well that uh, there really isn't any. Well, I mean, Corey has less than 3K in front of him, but really, these players, like, if they start getting short, they've been topping back off. Corbin, I saw, uh, put some chips back on the table after he lost that hand to Allen. Pretty much have to. Don't want to play short stacked in this game. No. Seen a lot of action. Allen willing to give that action. Kind of the beneficiary of some chipping up, so you want to try to keep close to him at least. Mm -hmm. Six deuce queen flop here. Jacks are very much in the lead. Those Jacks, Corbin, do C bet. Throughout half pot, 612. <laughs> Mal said I can't. Sorry, Octocrab not going to be able to help me here. Scrubs in the uh, chat says, great game. Allen for president. He's got my vote. He's got my vote. Definitely. We'll see Aaron B in the chat. Good to see you as well. Hopefully you've been well, man. But yeah, guys, our March schedule for promotions and tournaments are all up on the website, including our March live stream schedule. A good mix of cash games coming up as well as tournament action with the Run Good series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that. And we'll have the uh, Ambassador event that's going to be taking place as during that time. Of course, the women's event. Uh, event 1, which is our kind of traditional $400 buy-in multi-flight event, 100 k guarantee in that tournament. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then, of course, the 300 k guarantee main event, $1,200 buy-in tournament. That's going to be a lot of fun as well. I had a blast uh, last year when the Run Good series was here. Excited to see the Run Good uh, folks back again. And, uh, yeah, we're the destination this year. You know, last year was a checkpoint. This year it's the destination. I think the coolest thing, too, is with the Run Good series, all the tournament winners through every event gets that Run Good Poker Series ring. Yeah, the rings look really nice. Yep. Maybe maybe look up stops elsewhere on their way to Jacksonville in case I could sneak somewhere and try to win one. Right. Does not look in the cards. Uh, even their, you know, even the ambassadors they brought with. I know they're good for some of the cash games as well. Oh yeah, yeah. We got to run some bigger cash games around the tournaments. We did. And we'll have uh, those cash games back as well. And livened up both cash and tournament scenes. Good for everybody that way. Call two. Speaking of good for everybody, is Alan putting in the call? <laughs> Four, six, Listen, seven. Alan uh, for president. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alan is, uh, and we got a lot of Alan fans in the chat. I don't blame y'all. Alan's great. It's a tough flop. Henry uh, has a pretty good hold on this top pair with the flush draw. Not just the flush draw, but the nut flush draw. Alan's going nowhere facing this bet. Mm -hmm. Quick call. He's got a pair plus straight draw. He can find the offsuit 10 or 8. Obviously, find a way to improve. That is a brick tray on the turn. Not the card the Allen fans are rooting for. No. And Henry betting 700. Allen quickly grabbed chips. Yeah, he's not going to go where he's going to put in the call. That's what I mean. Those chips are live. And a board pairing tray. And 
Allen looking for that board pairing seven. Instead, good card for Henry. We're going to see him jam. Yeah, all with what he has left, 14.75. It's about half pot, so good price for Allen. But let's see if he can find the fold here. Nope. <laughs> Hoping Henry has, you know, king, queen of diamonds, yeah. king, ten of diamonds. Any sort of missed diamond draw, it doesn't have a jack. Right. Fortunately, Henry's got a monster. Just like that, Henry got a full double up. Yeah, much needed for him, too. Ron, what's up? Good to see you in the Facebook chat. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So he's, he's missing his straddle if you want straddle. Sit B out. But it was super hard. 10, 25, 50. So B, MIA for a hand. Man, one by one, everybody looked down at complete garbage there. Ball six. Get around to the blinds. Let's see Kyle put in the call. Todd happy to limp for cheap, and Henry's going to check his 8 6, so. No big hands here as it comes down king six four. Henry's hand is in the lead with a pair of sixes. Todd did take a stab. Henry puts in the call. Now four of hearts on the turn. To see Todd continue firing. Let's see if Henry wants to continue to get sticky with the six. Instead, he's just going to let it go, and that's where Todd's aggression does prevail. Joseph says, should be an interesting stream, some new blood. It's definitely been an interesting stream so far, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. If you're just tuning in, Candyman, you've missed some fireworks. But there's probably more coming. Yeah, there's definitely not going to be a shortage of it, for sure, considering uh, who's all on this table. I'm pretty confident making that statement. More to come. I'll pay for it. I'll take the side. 50 to go, starting on that one. Ball two. Ball three. Ball four. Ball six. Ball seven. Ball Todd saying, shame on you for missing the straddle. Ruined my flow. <laughs> Even though he won the pot. Yeah. He's got a good hand here. Puts in the raise. 300. King Jack suited. Oh, <laughs> here we go. You know this person, Mike. I may know him a little too well. <laughs> Got Fred coming in, huh? Yep. He said he might take a try at this table. Ooh, look at this. Todd uh, out flops everybody, trips. And Allen with a pair. We might see him stick around, especially as Todd bets pretty cheap. Keeping him in. <laughs> Todd, Todd goes, snapped, huh? Well, of course. <laughs> Listen, if Allen gets any small piece, he is in the hand. Especially holding a six on the King King Six. I mean, it's hard not to stick around. Yeah. You know, Todd likes the continuation bet early and often. Uh, a stack of green that goes in the middle. <laughs> Allen just calling it off. <laughs> Allen drawing dead, unfortunately doesn't know it. Wow, well, five on and up. Todd goes all in. See, the six looks pretty strong here, too. Yeah. If you don't think Todd's ever playing a, a king this way. And Allen calls it. Yeah, I mean, every, pretty much every available thing missed. Yeah. Unless he's holding a king or a pocket pair between sixes and kings. Right. And usually a pocket pair wouldn't play it fast and loose like that either, so... Allen went bluff catching, fortunately for him. Todd's got the king. I feel like the chips are going to be passed around everywhere on this table. Oh, yeah. They have uh, been finding different homes. <laughs> Allen had a pretty good portion of them. Now Todd's got some chips back. Kyle got some chips back earlier after getting stacked earlier. Imagine we'll see them take a, take a couple of trips back and forth between Allen and Todd. Ten, 
Hot so far. Todd happy to limp along. Get to play this hand from the button. Five players. V in there with a seven deuce. Does get a seven. And a pair of fives. Check, check, check. Todd open ended. Corbin uh, with the diamond draw. Deuce on the turn. Bet. Corbin's going to go ahead and bet. So 300 to bet. Todd put in a call. Trying to catch up here. Unfortunately, misses. An ace of hearts on the river. Corbin's going to go ahead and bet 600. Let it go. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. Our 1025 Nolan Hold'em cash game we got for you. Almost an hour in the books. Got myself Ryan, also known as Country, joined by Mike Kruger, Carter Manager, Best Bat Orange Park. Again, busy promotion going on with $1,000 high hands every 30 minutes, shared promotion between all three rooms. And during this time period, till 9 p.m., the highest high hand winner will get an extra 5K. And then from 9 p.m. to midnight, uh, the highest high hand will be a 2K payout for during that time. So plenty of time to come on through and try to get some of these uh, high hand bonuses. And here's Alan putting in the raise, 300. Tell Corbin Gold wants two. to get in the mix, but has to let go of Queen Five. Corey, though, coming along with the King Trey suited. And I think that's a flush draw for Corey. That is his suit. Top pair for Allen, though. Mm -hmm. We're going to see some chips get in here. As we have seen most of this live stream. Those chips are getting in there one way or another. And here's Corey going to go all in, and Alan going to call. As we said, chips are going to get in there. <laughs> They're going to run it twice. Top pair versus flush draw on the turn. Allen's gonna. Oh no, that was the flush for yeah, Corey. Yep. Eight on the first one. Now Kane and then Kane. The wow, Corey's gonna take it all. Corey's gonna scoop it all. And that's how you win over a 5K pot with King Trey suited. Yep. Complete that flush on the first run out, and then uh, got his king on the second run out to take it down. Corbin, as he just said, did fold queen five of spades, so that could have gotten ugly for him. <laughs> they have dodged some disaster. I think Allen is about ready to top back off. Yeah, he's not playing short stacks. No. Well, that was an early fun hour, really fun hour. We'll take a look at the stats here. Yeah, Henry up 1,900. It's funny seeing all these chips fly around all over the place. But the earnings are all kind of like uh, 1,900 went in right now. Corey, 1,400. Allen right now uh, the most stuck, but he is uh, topping off. Kyle has worked his way back to being even for the most part. That's a big W for Kyle after being stuck in the first 30 minutes. And, uh, yeah, that's about what I expect. 70% VPIP for Allen, Todd 53%. Kind of what I expected. the table. Might stay close to zero, but I can't imagine it'll stay at zero. 
Yeah, I'm. I'm, yeah, uh, see, I'm used to. I've seen Fred play two five and five ten, uh, but yeah, when I saw him racking up uh, coming over live stream, I was like, yeah, I'll play ten twenty five. He's a legend. Sometimes you gotta take a shot. Yeah. Nah, Fred. Uh, Fred definitely. Whenever he is in here, he's one of my favorite people to talk to. Yeah, that's what I thought, but they said the chain. I know we did it different, but yeah. As long as the stream. Yeah. Nine, six, six on the bottom. So looks like Kyle bet 200 here. It's gonna fold over to Fred. Looks like Fred came in for like what? Looks like 2,700 almost. Scrub says I, I hate bomb. So they're they're doing the bomb pots for different reason. And it looks like we lost our graphics on this hand too. They're doing the bomb pots uh, for. A couple reasons. One, um, because it's a time rate game, they're essentially uh, paying uh, the rake out of the bomb pot. So that's primarily the reason why they're uh, doing the bomb pots. Yeah, it looks like we did lose this one though. I know we're heads up here with uh, Corey and Kyle. It's cool. No, it's not. Believe me, you're not the only one that does. There's a pretty player that does play on our live stream pretty consistently that also hates bomb pots. <laughs> so you're not the only one. But yeah, it looks like we uh, lost uh, this hand, unfortunately. So... I think that six jack is for Corey or for Kyle. So Kyle probably has. Oh wow, Kyle's going to scoop it all. Or is it Fred? Actually, I didn't even know Fred was in the hand. So Fred scoops it all. Actually, sneaky. So Fred takes it down. I didn't even know. Her. I thought it was heads up with Corey and Kyle, but I guess Fred was in the hand still. So he takes it down. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, like I said, the graphics uh, looks like uh, got lost a little bit there, but uh, I'll tell you that Fred was the one that scooped that pot. Truthers. My bank account also is not a big fan of bomb pots. Had a couple bad ones in my lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Jacob? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Fred. Looks like he puts in a three bet. Yeah, three bet. Uh, Fred comes in and gets an early double up from the bomb pot and, uh, now firing a three bet of 300 here with Ace King offsuit. Queen, Queen, Nine flop. Looks like Allen has a little bit more than 82 than what's showing. Uh, looks like he did top off and just didn't get that information. Looks like he I'm got another 2K, maybe? I'm going to go with another 2K. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what he announced. Yeah, now he's got the uh, best of it here with the trip queens, but Todd with the nut flush draw now. 
on top of having a pair of deuces. Blank six on a river. Yeah, guys, again, our March schedule is up on our website. If you guys want to try to sign up for any of our live stream games coming up for the month of March, just go to bestbetjacks.com. Click the uh, live stream schedule. Um, Scrubs, what game are you playing? Because uh, it kind of depends on the uh, game that's being played. So for the... Uh for the time rake, you can always opt out and just pay your own time. Correct. A lot yep. of them, what they do is they run it out, and whoever wins the pot just pays the whole thing to speed things up. Correct. Kind of takes the place of what they used to do, which was the, uh, the pretty much the number on the flop, whatever card came right. in the window. Yeah. Players would always, every now and then you'd see players opt out of that as well. Just pay their own time. So he has the last option. Well, I mean, Saturday's game doesn't help me. I don't know what we're running on Saturday quite yet. Uh, so Saturday it's a 2-5 game. Uh, we do double board bomb pots for the 2-5 game, so you can sit out of those if you'd like. Since the, especially since the uh, button doesn't move or anything like that. Boston, what's up man? Good to see you. I saw Boston in the room earlier when it was, uh, Hopping in here, we had over 40 cash games going this afternoon Ooh. when I walked in. Ooh. It was busy. Of course, with our promotion that we're running. So it looks like the pair of nines are going to hold for fee. Nines are good, so fee's going to skip up another one. Tom says, send those players to Vegas ASAP. <laughs> Listen, these guys very much love the action. I was going to make a dumb joke about how we're the Vegas of Florida, but I mean, I think Miami might have a speed. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Yeah, true, fair. So I think we'll just keep them here. Yeah. Yeah, these guys, like I said, they like to mix it up. Oh, Fred, come on. It was suited. You could have called. <laughs> I love Fee puts in the raise to 200. And now Allen pocket jacks. He's on this call with the jacks, being sneaky with them. Surprising, no three bet from Allen. He just puts in the call. Ace 10 7. Does not get rewarded. No, does Fee not. Allen flops him. Yeah. I see Allen put in the call, though. Scared of the ace high board and yeah, wow, what a turn. Ooh. What a turn card. <laughs> Nothing like turning the set with the jacks. And at this moment, jiggities are gonna get paid. Fee gonna go ahead and bet a thousand. <laughs> and says, I'm just gonna raise this much. <laughs> Looks like 3k. 3k. Total. So 3x fees bet. Leaves himself a thousand behind too. Puts Fee in a really weird spot, too. Yeah, very Obviously weird. Obviously beaten by Ace-Jack and Ace-10. Always tough to get rid of a hand when you turn equity. You go from turning the straight draw in addition to the top pair. Mm -hmm. And he's going to let it go. Nice fold by Fee. Yeah, you're right, because, I mean, he had Broadway draw out there. He had, a, he had a lot of good portion of the board. Just as planned, yep. <laughs> Just as planned. Good plan. You can pull it off. Yeah. 
Tom says Ace Queen should check the turn. I think most of the time that is correct. I don't know how long you've been watching, but Allen is a bit of a wild card. Could easily will come up with a weaker ace. Kind of understand where Fee was coming from, but definitely support the check there. That's the way you want to go. Both the aces you were trying to dominate, like Ace Jack, suddenly get there. Meanwhile, here we're seeing Corey put in a three bet. Bet at the 525. Allen calls Corbin. Oh man, kind of an interesting spot for him. I mean, pocket sixes. Pretty easy call. Go I would think so. Position. I mean, I would think so. I would put it in a call. Oh, here he did. So we're already at the flop. So he already did put it in the call. Queen Jack Deuce. Sixes are, well, Jack, man, Jacks are running hot right now. Corbin still in the lead. Corey does have his Broadway draw still, though. Allen going to go ahead and fire out. 1,200 to bet from Allen. With a uh, gutter. Corey's going to go ahead and put in the call. Trying to fade a nine or an eight. Double paired board. Queen on the river, so Corey's ace. Although Allen's just gonna go ahead and bluff at it here. That's 2,000. Corey just puts in the call just like that. Yep, Allen tried to bluff at it. Corey didn't believe him and put in the call and gets paid. Puts in a uh, <laughs> puts in 200 here. Try to figure out how to use this. Everyone's calling right now. All right, so here we go. Four players at a flop. Nine six queen. And Allen just goes all in with nine tray, just ships it. He is in the lead with his pair of nines. And Allen takes it down. Very much so. Allen doing Allen things. And Chris, you're right. I have never once seen Alan be upset or mad or thing. He's always, every time I see him, he's always got a smile on his face. So I actually have seen Alan frown now that we're talking about it. They want to bring it up earlier, but there was this one time where we were closing and we had to call last hand. He was in length. He was very sad that he had to, he had to call it a night. I joke, I joke. But Alan loves, Alan loves getting in the mix. 
And yeah, I've never seen him unhappy, win or lose. He's just hanging out, having some fun. Nod's going to try to have some fun, raising it up with pocket fives. Fred with jack ten suited. See if he wants to put in the call or maybe even a three bet. It is a button open from Todd. Bet is coming in. Now if he looks down at a pocket pair. Only 3k deep. Just gonna let it go. Now action back on Todd. Looks like he's put in the call. Rather. We're going to go. Fred, fresh to the table. Todd, the effective stack. And wow, five ace do some middle set for Todd. Disaster for Fred. Flop that favors his range. as a three flop, three better. Todd, pretty much guaranteed to scoop this thing no matter how many times they run it. Sure enough. Todd is going to get the full double up. Let's see. Get the full count. All the chips get shipped Todd's way. For his action as Todd can be. People tend not to put him on a hand. He does get him paid pretty often when he has a big one. They played not too long ago. Corey say he may have laid down the ace high if the board didn't pair on the end. Played out similarly to Corbin looking it up with Ace King maybe about 30 minutes ago. Obviously, an under pair would have been counterfeited this time around, so maybe that plays into Alan, it. What you gonna do, bro? <laughs> it's your world, we're living in it. No. <laughs> no, Allie. <clears throat> So Fred's got the best of it right now with a pair of queens. Vito with a flush draw. Before it gets around to Fred, we're going to see Todd stab at it. Just nine high. A couple of backdoor straight draws. Not even a club in his hand. So we are going to see Fred and Fee put in the call. Now ten hearts on the turn. Does not improve anybody. Odd electing. Slow it down here. Fred throws out about a half pot size bet, 525. He puts in the call of his flush draw. See if Fred can dodge a club or see if he can find a club on the river. Here it comes down at Jack of Hearts. Actually, just gonna go check, check. 
if he doesn't want to bluff at it. The missed flush. Fred happy to take his weak kicker on that queen to showdown. He needs to take down that pot. Always nice to scoop in a pot of some kind after doubling up a different opponent not too long ago. Bet 300. Todd obviously going to snap call the 9-7 to suit. He's going to come along from the button. We went three ways to clean. 10, 9, two diamonds on board. Let's see if Henry wants to throw out a C bet. Because it sizes up, makes it 700. And it's just going to take this one down. Uh, Lucas says, what's up, best bet? What's up with you, Lucas? How you doing tonight? Thanks for tuning in. Missed a couple of crazy hands so far, but can't imagine the action's going to stop. They bumped it up from a 10.25 to a 10.25.50 pretty early. And then Alan jumped in the game. And things have been a bit nutty ever since. Back in action again, open things up with 10-9 suited this time around. Fred with another playable, possible three bet hands. He's queen. <laughs> so Fred did three bet. Todd asked, are you sure you want to do that after the last time? Any of you that just hopped in a few minutes ago, Fred three bet Todd and Todd flopped the set, got a full double, so. Todd playfully yamming it up. Instead, we saw Todd actually put in a four bet and Fred lay it down. Maybe Todd trying to push Fred around a little bit. Todd, a very, very experienced player. Fred, kind of newer to this high of a stake. Todd's aware of that. Maybe he's trying to pick on that dynamic a little bit. Or maybe just trying to mix it up. We've seen Todd mix it up quite often. Here we're going to see a limp pot. A few times we've gotten close to a limp pot. Somebody's tried to isolate, loading things up. This time nobody does. Let's come down king, king, nine. We have three players in there with a nine. Corbin, the only one with a king. nines got out of the way. Good news for them. They're obviously drawing dead with no nines left. Corbin is tra 
trapping there, hoping Henry stabbed at it instead. Just going to check down. and Corbin's going to get a pot, one he was probably hoping was going to load up a little bit bigger than it ended. to go. Suddenly everybody's got a playable hand in the blinds. Hey, can I hold now? One by one they all call. It'll be a four-way pot. A lot of Broadway cards and then Kyle sitting there with pocket five. Instead flop comes down ace high. Anti-climactic flop indeed. So it checks over to Corbin. That's a pre-flop raiser. Put out the sea bed. It's like Oz going to put in the call with his pair of nines. Queen of spades falls on the turn. Todd adds a flush draw to his pair of nines. Corbin now open ended. Holding the ten of spades. Turning some equity form an open end straight draw. We're gonna see him keep firing it looks like. Around how much? Three? Four? Four? Four. Trying to figure out how to Friendly. size this for a river shove. <laughs> Imagine these two have some history. We haven't seen Corbin on stream too much, but he is a very, very regular cash game player, Todd. We have seen on stream, obviously plays a lot of cash in the room off stream as well. The two seem very familiar with one another. So we go up to a nine on the river, beautiful river card for Todd. They open the door for him to keep checking it over. Instead, he's gonna throw out kind of value blocker bet. Maybe he really does believe that Corbett has an ace and he's gonna have to look him up. And wow, Corbin jams as a bluff. Todd snap calls. <laughs> Corbin says, whoops. Sometimes that's all you can do. Just like that, Todd gets a full double up, seemingly out of nowhere. Ill time bluff for Corbin. Did not put Todd on a nine or a flush. Huge, huge pot, big swing. Wow, wow, wow. Nice. Lucas says big misstep. Yeah, I'm guessing Corbin just didn't believe that Todd would lead out with a nine. Doesn't put him on it. run into it hard and fast as Todd wasted no time with the snap call. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Sometimes when your opponent is sitting in the tank after you fire a big bluff, it's a little torturous, but might be just as demoralizing to get snap called. I don't know. It kind of depends how you feel about it. I'm sure, again, these two have battled a lot. A lot of history there. Probably not a, not a lot of feelings getting thrown in either way. The old Todd knows, Corbin knows, the Todd knows, Corbin knows he could be doing this late.
No, no always do behind first. The two of you need to figure out your own like, argument afterwards. You one same top, the other same bottom every time. All right, so back uh, with the uh, double board bob pod. As soon as Mike gets a chance, and I'll need him to recap. Uh, apparently, a hand I had missed because I had to go out and take care of some stuff. But I see Todd's got uh, 9400 in front of him now, so I'm gonna assume that he just got himself a big. Whoa, where did? Wait, hold on now. I'm gonna need a. Uh, I'm gonna need an update. I just saw that Corbin has like 14k in front of him now. He topped off. Ah, gotcha. Corbin said enough's enough. I'm topping off, and I've topped off big. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Things happen. Dark Angel, what's up? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. to go all in with just king high Allen meanwhile pair of fours plus the wheel draw so this game is getting silly Henry's gonna fold to get out of there and Allen He's going to put in the call. He's 100% going to put in the call. He's got a piece of this board. Of course he's going to put in the call. Yeah, rare live stream appearance from uh, Justin. One of our uh, floors. Allen just doing a little inventory here. And he is going to go ahead and put in the call. So here we go, off to the races. We're going to run it twice. If he needs a king or a jack, it's not it for the first run out. Allen's going to take the first one. I think Allen scooped it both. Allen did scoop it both. Allen's 
Wow, if he's in disbelief. <laughs> he's in disbelief. <laughs> Marl is, and now it's Allen. Scooping up, getting the ships back in front of him now. He's gonna have to load back up. Gets Todd excited. Wow. Also, Mike just gave me a uh, rundown of uh, the hand that I missed, and uh, Corbin le learned a very valuable lesson. You're uh, never gonna. Nine, you're never gonna bluff Todd. Yeah, he's fifty. He's fifty. Raise two hundred. All right, so Henry getting back in the mix. Gonna raise up two hundred. Well, Henry, Pocket Kings, that's a hand you raise with. Kyle in there with the deuces. Eight five five flop. That's 400 here. Kyle. I'm going to put in a call with his deuces. Ace on the turn. This also brings out hearts. Henry going to check it over to Kyle now. Kyle, going to go ahead and put together a bet, it looks like. He's going to bet 600. It's gonna work. Kyle gets it. Gets the bluff through. That's funny. Matt says Corbin will still try to bluff him. Matt, where are you at, man? This would be your type of game. <laughs> Hope you've been well, man. Good to see you though in the chat. Jason says, very aggressive play. Yeah, this table's been aggressive all night. Been a very action-oriented table. I see the one and only Shauna in the uh, Facebook chat as well. It says, hi from Best Bet St. Augustine. How you doing, Shauna? Hope you're doing well. And, uh, five Let's make it fun. Let's keep it fun. Okay. Why are you call? <laughs> <laughs> why are you call? Why are you call? Why are you call? Why you call? Why are you call? Why are you $950. I'm going to take the five and give it to the five. $950. Alan, call. <coughs> Alan. Heads up. Good. You're popping out of your seat. I love it. You're out. Look at you. I'm in. Wild card, Alan. I want to hear what you're thinking. Talk me through, talk me through your process. Check. Check. <laughs> check. Uh, I've been looking forward to this, seeing Alan and uh, Todd go heads up. And they go check, check after the turn. Oh, that completes Alan straight. Alan gets there on the river. Check, ball, 15. Straight. 
Just like that, Allen is back to having close to 9K in front of him now. I just saw the message, Sean, about how you guys got the high hand for this block or anything. I owe you guys a trip down to St. Aug one day. I haven't been able to go down in a while, but I owe you guys a trip. A shirt like that, you're always on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Todd's adding 5k. Now Todd is adding on, yeah. More chips. Awesome. More Todd's chips are being 5K. on this table. This game's gonna be playing massive. Call three. Raise three and a four, hold six. Dan says, fun game to watch. Dan, where are you at? The game's missing you, man. Hopefully you're doing well, Dan. Good to see you, buddy. I think I know... Uh, um, I think Dan is going to be trying to put together a, a fun game uh, for the month of April coming up for the live stream. We'll be looking forward to that. Meanwhile, look at this. Pocket trays versus ace eight suited versus pocket sevens. Let's see a flop. And the set of sevens are in the lead. Is that a check? Yeah. Oh, check. Check seven. <laughs> and who is it that gets it? Your boy, Fred. Four twenty-five. The eight full three. <laughs> Fair, Dan. I get it. I understand. I work for a living, too. I understand. Todd's going to let it go. Fred. Great flop for him. been a, a very fun uh, game to watch tonight. Been a blast. Lots of action, lots of chips on the table. Love to see it. We've seen just about everything in this uh, game. Yeah, looks like we even see a flag there on Todd's chip stack. Yep, Todd added on 5K. It's getting, it's getting fun. Yep. And then after Corbin topped off big, too, after he uh, couldn't bluff Todd earlier. Only one way to win those chips back. Yep. Here we go. Jack, ace, ace, flop. Check two. So, Allen, two pair. 
V, also two pair, but a much better kicker. Actually, what am I saying? Not two pair, it's trips. Trips for Allen and trips for V. V has the better kicker. He does have the better kicker. I was right about that. I don't know where I was saying two pair. Eesh. Tell it's been a while since I've been on the live stream. Queen on the turn. No more vacations. No, yeah, right. So it is. A queen is basically going to counterfeit the kickers, so we're looking as though we're going to be chopping this up. And neither one's filled up on the river. Nope. Allen bets 500 here. Call. Yep. I got an ace. Call, and we're going to chop it up. Ace. Ace. Womp womp. Womp womp. That one could have gotten crazy. We could have. Any food or drinks? Food drinks, water? Definitely could have. The fee uh, who just bought back in for 5K and getting back into the mix. The chop pot. Okay, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. 10.25 cash game. Also, we do got a pretty big uh, promotion going on today as well with $1,000 high hands thir every 30 minutes. Oh, it's just dead money. You still get an option on your travel. Your travel's not Just dead money. Thank you. I'm ready to go. Hold it. So it sounds like uh, Todd put in a blind raise to 100. <laughs> he is right. I know it is. Use eight six flop. Todd has a pair of eights. Allen with a gutter. That was a heart draw and a diamond draw out there. Todd's eight still in the lead. Allen hoping for a seven, seven or a tray. I just realized who Alan was also just open as it. Actually, double gut. That ain't it. No, that ain't it. Boo. No, that was not it. Alan doesn't get there that time. Oh, yeah, double gut. I don't want to. See, that's what happens. I've been gone. No more vacation. That's, that's, that's what it is. Easy fix. We fix the problem. Yeah, exactly. Can't take any more days off. I see. But sure enough, I got a days off next week though too. So <laughs> must be nice. Okay. As a great man in the YouTube chat once said, I work for a living. Yeah. Nice hand. Todd does take it down. He's being double gutted. Unfortunately, Alan did not get there. Todd able to avoid it. Yeah, again guys, thousand dollar high hands every 30 minutes going until midnight tonight. Uh, we are in our final hour of the uh, highest high hand, potentially taking home an extra five thousand dollars. And then from 9 p.m. to midnight, uh, highest high hand during that time, we'll take a extra two thousand dollars potentially. We uh, actually had a chop our first uh, go around. Uh, between uh, St. Augustine and our room, uh, we had two royal flushes that hit in the uh, first uh, segment of the highest high hand, so we ended up having to chop that up. Yeah, it was nice of you guys to leave Orange Park on the board for a couple hours. Yeah, I <laughs> saw you guys up there for a little bit. A nice straight flush. Really nice guy, actually, was holding on to it. I was rooting for him, and then uh, you guys decided to slow roll us. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> Some Corbin, a pair of sixes.
Uh, it's been a pretty fun live stream, though. Definitely been fun to do this again. Been fun to commentate with Mike Kruger. It's been a while since uh, I've had the opportunity to commentate with Mike for a minute. Yeah, I feel like we've been zigzagging. Yeah, kind of, sort of. I know you've been busy with your stuff, obviously. Been busy uh, over here, too. But uh, I think with uh, Run Good coming up soon and all the stuff we got coming up in March, I'm pretty sure uh, we'll be seeing a lot of each other during the Run Good. Yeah, we'll get tired of me again. <laughs> Call one. And vice versa. Call two. Race. What Run Good is all about. Wow, lost of spades are out there. Corbin puts in the raise of 225. Fred, Queen Jack. Closing out. Uh, not quite closing out the action, but it looks like he's going to go ahead and put in a re raise. Here we go. Three bet. Corbin. Trying to isolate the limpers a little bit, maybe. Yeah, Corbin. Corbin puts in the call. Corbin and Fred heads up. Corbin will get to play that suited connected hand in position. You saw that I raised dark? No, I wish I did. I raised dark, and, <laughs> but I, got, I looked at a good hand. We yeah. called dark or called the light? Yeah. Check. Fred does hit his queen check, on the check. flop. Let's go check, check. Check. Not check. on the turn. So check around the entire way. $100. 100 <laughs> Corbin's like a hundred. That's a that's a value bet if I ever saw one. <laughs> He's so confused. <laughs> donates donates a hundred. He does. <laughs> Praying Fred had, you know, five, six, or six, seven. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. You only got to be right once out of 17 <laughs> times. Yeah, sure. I, I could care. I just, the pot was big enough. That's true. If I was bluffing with nine, I would. Yeah, you probably wouldn't do that. Yeah, You probably missed like $60 a night. Yeah. At least for five weeks for those games, that's exactly what kind of thing I would do. Good to go. Call, call, call three, call four. A couple of limps so far. Until we get to Kyle. Very, very raisable ace queen on the button. He's going to bump it up. Very start. Call. Now we're going to see both oh, limpers put in the call. Oh, the blind hand. No wonder you I raised dark, yeah. Yeah, for a dark hand, that's for good players. <laughs> oh, man. Flop would have been way under for us. Like, you flop top two? Uh, queen jack flop would be great. Yep. I, th I think you flop a top two. If I flop top two, three three ways. Ways. ace, ten, yeah. tray. Yeah. Just reverse, yeah. But I'd rather have to draw. <laughs> Probably not the best cam, Allen. Holding middle pair, thinking about it. Alan's just going to lead right out with that middle pair. Call six. Hold. Heads up. Kyle does put in the call now. Just give those two heads up to an eight of hearts on the turn. Doesn't change too much. Does not. Let's see what Allen wants to do with his ten. Let's not check it. Kyle's gonna go ahead and bet a thousand here. Allen snap called it. Snap called it with the uh, bet there. And a seven on the river. Seven of hearts. 15. And Allen oh. bluffing at it. Yeah. And Kyle goes call. What <laughs> 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 he just said call. <laughs> so Kyle <laughs> working his way back up. I want to say Kyle's uh, not stuck anymore now. 
helps. And winning a 7K pot helps. Yeah, that, that, that helped, definitely helped him out a lot. It didn't seem like a 7K pot, but yeah, it was. It's straddle. All right. <laughs> 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 Alright, I think it's safe to say that. Uh, Call three, fold four. Oh man, Corbin's just gonna limp in here. Yeah, so he is. a blind of 200 from Allen. Yep. Corbin's gonna get real sneaky with the Ace King. He is. And is inviting everybody else to limp with these playable hands, but Todd. There it is. Yep. He would rather raise it up with a playable hand than limp in. Right. Get the limpers out of there. Some music to Corbin's ears. He's praying somebody else calls like Allen behind. And Allen had five deuce. Could easily see him put in the call. The way things have been going on this table. They have. He is going to put in the call. <laughs> all right, let's see the. Raise there it is. Whoa! <laughs> you a jam all in yep. from Corbin. That was the plan. Yep. It's not too late. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and Alan's like, ah. Everybody has a chance. That's right. All right, so let's go ahead and show stats now. Wow, Corey now. The big winner, huh? Corey's up. Todd's up again. Kyle's up. Because the pair was good too. Four or five was good. I guess. We don't know. Yeah, good bet. No surprise here. Alan and Todd leading the B-Pip. No, not at all. But I mean, look at this. I mean, it's, this game is a 10-25 game. And the and the V pip is thirty percent and above for the most part. And it's been very much an action ten twenty five game. Yeah, this turned into a good one. There's gonna be like seven nine. Quiet moments early on, but my god, has this game got better. Yeah, loaded. I mean, like it was, I already knew it was gonna be a good lineup before we had. And then obviously with Alan, uh, you know, getting on the list and showing up, this game has been insanely good. Came back. Good for us in here to watch a good game. Good for everybody tuning in as well. Happy to see it. Hope everybody continues watching along with us. Got a good maybe three hours left in the stream too. So could be in for quite the night. Check around on these flops. Again, it's a double board, hold on that bomb pot they've been doing on every dealer change. Way to mix it up as well as pay the time rate. See if anyone wants to step out, stab at it. Looks like Kyle's going to be the one. Throws out a bet with his queen. Holding a queen on bottom with three kings out there. Not too worried about anybody holding a king at this point. Fred's holding a pair on each board. Looks like he's going to put in the call. Hope to maybe take half this pot. We'll just be Kyle and Fred heads up to the rivers. Everybody else got out of the way. inevitable unless we see Kyle blow Fred off of it, but said he goes small. <laughs> Very awkward spot for Fred. Not strong on either board, but <laughs> so after the 
trepidatious call. We are going to chop this pot up. down. Newest player of the table, Fred. He's the last one in. Taking a stab at this 10-25-50 game, a little bit bigger than most of the games he's played before, but seems to be holding his own so far. Selfishly rooting for a little bit of a train wreck. That way I can make fun of him at work next time I see him, but instead, I can't make fun of him that leaves me a little empty-handed. Yeah. As action gets back underway, we see Kyle look down at ace-queen. He's going to bump it up. If he's going to call from the button with connected 8-7 offsuit. Allen's going to get in there with his king-10. Corbin, pocket eights. But he's going to put in a little bit of a squeeze, three bet it up to 900. If I wonder if he's letting it go. And Corbin's going to take it down. Uh, Danny asking, do we have this game every week? We do have the live stream usually three days a week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The game that's being played varies. You see our complete schedule on our website, bestbetjacks.com. If I ask you, like, at least just say... All that live stream information is in the live stream tab. Later in the month of March, and we have tournament series roll through. We'll also have some final tables tournament coverage in addition to the cash games. Well, we get a pretty big mix of cash games. The bigger ones we run as often as possible. But every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, there's always something on. When we went to a queen seven deuce flop, Corey's hand is still in the lead. Corey throw out a bet. Corbin's taking it over now. He gets something with his deuce, but he's going to have to let it go, and Corey to take that pot down. So pocket tens did hold there for Corey. He gets a scoop in the pot. That is going to be it for Fred. Yeah, Fred uh, said he's, he's got to go to work. I mean, you could have given him that. 
tied off, right? No, he's, he doesn't have to go to work. He's got to go run some errands. Ah. He's got a... He actually got a surgery tomorrow, so oh, he's got to take okay. care of some stuff beforehand. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember he was telling me he uh, looks like a gallbladder or something like that. Yeah, he was joking around before uh, before this game got going that he might jump on the list and play just in case it doesn't go well tomorrow. But <laughs> obviously, rooting for him tomorrow in surgery. Yep. Hope it goes well. So let's we'll keep it moving along here. Yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. So appreciate you guys watching. A 10:25 cash game, and yeah, to, uh, to what Mike was saying, uh, yeah, cash games. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we run a bunch of different cash games from low stakes to high stakes. Uh, whenever we got tournament series going on as well, we'll have a special live stream for our tournaments. Four king seven flop. Two hearts. Now Corbin has the tens. The tens are starting to be passed around here. Allen has a pair of sevens. guys like what you're watching like what you're seeing make sure you hit that like hit that subscribe button also hit that bell notification for when we go live that way you never miss anything that we have on our YouTube channel definitely appreciate it we're now getting closer and closer to 11,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel slowly and surely continuing to grow <laughs> All right, ace, eight, nine, flop. So Corbin hits his ace. Pair of nines for both Henry and Todd. V has a gutter. He's out of there. Corbin's gonna take this one down. Stopped by and said, Hey, is back and visiting. Oh, 
Yeah, again, guys, uh, don't forget, run good poker series, making its return to Best Bet in Jacksonville. March 14th through the 24th, start making those plans. So you won. To be here. That's a record, first that time ever. Series. It's a very fun series. Had a lot of fun our first go around. Is it 100? Yeah, Corbin no. King Jack. leading out on a very safe flop. See if he wants to put in the raise. Smooth call. Flat. Here's the way he goes. Rough card for him to see when it comes off an ace. If he tries to represent this ace, it might work. Does anybody want, if I get more, does anybody want? No. I think there's actually more in there. Yeah, it Action did go check, check, and now another ace on the river. It's going to be harder for Fee to represent it, but just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not worth trying, apparently. It's going to fire out 1,500. Can I take care of the Yeah, yeah. We've seen Fee get involved in some hands, but we haven't seen any big bluffs like this. How about how about the issue? Sorry? Like how about the issue? Roughly. I mean, I mean, truly, I would say I'm like uh, legit 25. 25 over. Like legit 25 over that, right? So I can, I can play. You could shoot better, but you by average I like that. 15, right? I, can play, I, mean, I have days where I'm dialed, and it looks like I can really play the game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying. That's how I am. It's gonna work as Henry lets it go. I will gamble. Let's do it. I was gonna say I love to gamble on golf. So I always like to go out one time with somebody before I start. Oh, for sure. Play small. Play small, and then see if it's competitive, and then and play. I honestly prefer scrambles. Like that way, you always have a shot. You know, even if you hit a bad shot, you're still in. I enjoy being out there, so it's nothing to say. I'm not going to get big. I'm going to gamble enough to have fun. Yeah. A couple hundred is fine. Dude, teach me how to play some golf, man. It's amazing. Teach me how to play some golf. That's the most time consuming sport I've ever seen. It's amazing. If you can golf like you can bowl, you, you'll be all right. Bowl? Bowl? So I'm saying, if you can golf half as good as you can bowl. Bowl? That's a good bowl. I'm not going to bowl. You got two pair of bowling shoes? <laughs> I know y'all both for real. I saw. I can't break 140. <laughs> we suck at bowling. <laughs> you can't break 140. 180 is the best I ever did. But I've only played five times in my life. Only my, my whole life. I mean, it's a goal. Aren't you from here? Yeah, but I just, I don't know. I never really did bowling. And all of it within the last two years. <coughs> it is fun. Fun. So these guys are talking about the different sports to play. Oh, man, Might have a pot balloon up here. It's feet on bottom set. Corey with nut flush draw. <laughs> it hurts. That's how it's going. You can get to my ball. I'm going to as light a ball as possible. I'm not trying to fucking hurt myself. Instead, we saw Corey just put in the call rather than raise it up. I don't think the bell turn. We played poker together before this. Oh, no, we are. Try to replace your face, but stop somewhere in South Florida? No, no. Only the beer? Up here. Yeah. Are you from South Florida? I've been in South Florida for a long time. Yeah. But I've been here. 
Kenny not trying to slow play in any way. He's going for the max. That's full pot. <laughs> We're going to put in the call. Maybe thinking with that big of a bet, if he has a monster like he has, he'll likely to get all the chips if he makes his flush. Instead, it's a queen of diamonds on the river, filling Fee up, Corey bricking out. <clears throat> Ponder what to do here and inevitably jam. All in is best move, pot size bet. Corey's gonna quickly just let it go. No posturing needed. And he gets to take a pot down. Quite it down here. Just want to say thanks once again. Things aren't quite it down. Instead, it sounds like stand up game could be negotiated. Try to grab. You got to play it? No. So. You have to win a hand, right? You, have to be the, you can't be the last person to win a hand. So everybody, when you win a hand, you get a button. You have to show your, your hand in order to be able to get the button. Right? And if you're the last person to win, the last person to get a button, you pay everybody at the table, whether it's 100, 200, 300, whatever we select. You can keep it friendly and just do 100. And then what we did the last time, which is super DJ style, is <laughs> once you win, you do a flake wrong. Which is right up your alley. So I'm the gambler. I'm the gambler. Huh? I'm the gambler. I'm the gambler. I just want to park. <laughs> Stand up game on this table. Would be nice. Hopefully they can get it done. In the meantime, 10 tray deuce. Bottom set for Henry. Open ended for Corey. Checks all the way around to Henry's button. Imagine this multi-way, not a spot he wants to slow play. Gotta start putting some chips in there. Looks like he's going for a pretty hefty amount, betting 400 into 500. Uh, rather half pot, my apologies. 400 into 1,000. Makes way more sense. You did see Corey put in the call. Pot's going to float here. He's got some backdoor spades, backdoor straight draws. Maybe he's hoping to take it away on a scary turn. That is not one of those turn cards that fills Henry up. Hitting his full house with the board pairs. Both players check it over to him. See what size he wants to go with here. No reason to go big now. He doesn't think he can get the most value. He goes. 1300, a little over half pot size bet yet again. We're going to see Corey get away from his open ender. Surprised Henry to go a little bit smaller due to having the full house. Any draws that come in, like Corey's, would be great for you. Maybe on a scarier turn. Going with a bigger size, he makes sense. Let's play Henry. Probably going for the maximum the way this table's been playing out. 
I thought anybody with a 10 would stick around. Instead, both players have to let it go, and Henry can't make the match with his pocket business. Straddle on. I believe it's the first time we've seen the hundred straddle on. Let's see a couple of limps. Todd's just going to check his option. A four way limp pot here when it comes down. Jack, seven, Trey. Two hearts, one board. A little bit of a piece for each. Trey of hearts on the river. Doesn't improve anybody. I saw both Alan and Kyle looking for the 10 to make their straight. Todd's top pair ahead of Corbin's second pair. Trey doesn't change too much. Somehow nobody's holding a heart either. It'll just be Corbin and Todd going off to the river. Comes down to five of hearts. Neither one makes a flush. Both players are just going to check with their pairs. Todd's is better, so he'll take this pot down. Corbin's going to over limp from the button with Queen 5 suited. Kyle with a sneaky call there, maybe hoping to see Todd raise it up out of the straddle. Instead, Todd's just going to check his option. Flop comes down ace high, ace 6 deuce. So Kyle with the best hand. These things look. We're going to actually see Henry fire out 200, though. Kyle puts in the call. It's four clubs on the turn. Kyle can't lose this pot. Well, let's see if Henry wants to keep firing at it anyway. Doesn't add any equity in the form of a straight draw. Just sitting here with a naked king high. Fires off 400. Really trying to rep that ace. I'm, I'm drinking this wine. Kyle going to put in the call. I don't think there's much else to be done at this stage for him. Until the queen comes on the river. I guess. Now he's beating any two pairs that Henry might have, like ace, deuce, ace, six, or ace, four. Let's get way for Aang. Way for Aang. That way, that way Aang will take one. That's why we're going to see Kyle actually lead out here. Oh, he's right there. I like, uh, Tequila Reposado. You have Casamigo. Chill, Jack. Uh, no salt. Lime is good. Do you have Casamigo? Okay. After a little bit of posturing there, we see Henry let it go. Kyle went for near full pot, trying to get the max on the river. <laughs> you, you cover everybody always. You cover. You have to buy a really set. That's the rule. New strategy. Cover, cover. Starts on your own. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're so, on coming to the table. New to the table today, but not new to the live stream. 
uh, for these let games. Let the cage do it. We need these. We need these shoes. Yeah, let the cage do it. Yeah, we need some other Hey, can I get the chips on 59? Just 5K blast. A couple of limps. Gets around to Corey's butt, and he's going to bump it up with the King Queen. Chunky 450, really trying to thin this field. What would you do? What is that, 350? Four. Four. around to Allen. Not one to want to fold. He's going to put in the call to suited ace. A6 of hearts. Now it's a flop of 10 8 deuce, two clubs. Neither player connects with this board too much. See Allen check it over. Corey was the pre-flop raiser. Rather than see, but he's just going to check it back. Turns another brick. Tray of hearts. Continues to go check, check. Both players checking it on the river. Allen's ace high is best. He's going to take it down. in the 50s for the bomb pot. Doesn't sound like the stand-up team got, ne got negotiated. <laughs> Fortunate for us. Okay. Everybody's gonna come to best bet now. Everybody's gonna come to best bet now. Yeah. They see this. this? See this game? This yeah. Line. It's a good promotion <laughs> for them. Yeah, we all need to cut from the phone line. These guys can each get 50 cents. Four crazy rich Asians. One game. <laughs> Alright, two boards. Two boards. Hey, can you see my card from one class? Yes. Yeah. Let me see. Alright, yeah, you got a uh, jack? Yes. Yeah, you got one jack? I don't play no people. I don't play no people. Hey! What? Hey, check. Check, check. Back to the. Hey, Henry, how you got here, I'm waiting for you here, but late. <laughs> Come here, Paul B, the super star six. <laughs> Raise, eight hundred and seven. Hold eight, hold nine. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate you. Eight hundred. Yeah, Call C1, fold three. Dr. Todd raises it up. He's open it on the top board, middle pair, bottom board. Henry, top pair, top board, open it at bottom board. Let's see if he's turned swing anything, but turns don't improve either player. So come down an ace and a king. Oh, no, no, here, here. Middle. <laughs> We're going to see Todd continue the aggression, throwing out about a half pot size bet. Call. Henry's going to put in that call. Pot floating up. 
Rivers don't improve either player's hand. We can see they're chopping, but if Todd does keep firing, put maybe Henry in here, it might be tough for Henry, Henry to call. Uh, I guess the break. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. Who's in the ship right now? Oh, oh yeah, that guy, that guy left with like 5,500. It was, it was in for, it was in for uh, not that much. Yeah, he didn't have much. I thought he was. At most, like, uh, Sure enough, Todd's aggression is going to scoop this pot. Henry's got to let go of what became third pair up top. Obviously, just 10 high on the bottom. Hard to believe that his hand is best, and he's got to let it go. Pretty sizable pot that went Todd's way there. Shot straight draw. Gonna need to spike a 10 in one of these two runouts. Let's not get it on the first runout. See if he can hit the 10 on the second. Steady hits two pair, just not gonna be good against Henry's aces. Mm. Oh, just like that. 14 35. Looks like Allen will have a little bit of chips left. Not a full stacking. Just a full double up for Henry instead. So I think it's safe to assume if Allen gets any type of a hand, that he's going all in automatically. That's what he has left back there. Unfortunately, loses to the aces there. Again, yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out with us, though. Appreciate you guys watching this uh, insanely fun 1025 game to watch. So we got a new player in as well to the game. Allen in there with nine trays suited, okay. Well, it's okay. a suited hand. So immediately all in with his remaining stack that he has left. Corbin puts in the call. Looks like Todd put in the call as well. Four players, one all in, all further action, continue the side pot for the Allen, all right? Four players, one all in. Oh. Trey, seven, Ooh. queen. <laughs> Allen did catch a piece of this. Unfortunately, he is dominated by Henry's queen. All in announced. And Henry going to go ahead and go all in to get, Henry, uh, to get Corbin and Todd out of there. I need a miracle, come on. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, one time. Sorry. 
turn. Said it's a trip Queens for Henry and Allen. Unfortunately, has been stacked. I'll be back. He said I'll be back. He's the Terminator. Allen sounds like he's gonna go get some chips and then be yeah. on his way back. Talking it up. Talking it up. <laughs> <laughs> you want to buy back? So I call it. Alright, one blind in this hand, it'll be 50. And it's gonna be in CD, okay? 50 to go. It does hurt, you're like a damn boy. Oh, 50. I'm gonna limp in. Anybody that wasn't watching it last weekend, we saw on limp in and pull off some limp raises from time to time, including a massive pot that went his way by doing so. Anybody on this table that is either present, like Todd, or watching like some of these guys like to do, might be aware, not want to raise his limps. Sure enough, nobody raises this one up. A four-way limp pot to Jack 8-6. On with the eights, on with the gut shot. Todd did lead with his middle pair. Saw on put in the call. Corbin's probably gonna come along for cheap with his straight draw. Also four on the turn. Action. Let's check, check. Reverse tray, Todd's hand is best. He bets he gets to take it down. Yeah, so actually Todd took it down, not uh, not Ann. So Todd takes down the uh, pot there. Did I say on it down? No, no, the graphics got a little messed up. Uh, button got out of place uh, on the graphics for some reason. So it's actually Todd that took down that hand, it's just so you guys know. Oh, one of the players from the original uh, starting list uh, just just showed up. They weren't able to make it in time, so that's why they weren't able to get in the game now. But they just showed up here, and Todd is just uh, needling them a little bit. Raise 450. Call four. Corbin went with the big raise. Corey putting in the call the five four spades. Corbin originally opened it with the king and jack of diamonds out of the straddle. I know that voice anywhere. That's uh, also Derek that's uh, with them as well. Ten deuce queen flop. No. The board from Corbin to keep firing. Flops open ended. You got two ahead of you. See that takes it down. Brandon Cock. Sean. Sean. Sean Conklin. I don't know who that is. Oh, 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 Maybe sad. When we get off stream, I think you'll be fine. Call one. I think you haven't seen one. On yeah? <laughs> You're on TV. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely been a lot of fun watching this game. What a blast. Fun table. It really has been a fun table. Thanks, our job's easy. Check. Check. Heads up. Check. I want to play. I want to I told you. It's 20K. Bet 200, 
now with how much uh, action's been happening. It's been a pretty quick moving game. The past three hours. It really has. I mean, it's been just a fun watch in general. Oh, <laughs> appreciate everybody's been hanging out watching along with us. You guys are out there rooting for anybody in particular. Feel free to let us know. Also, uh, you know, if you'd like to, hit that like, hit that uh, subscribe button on YouTube, hit that bell notification for when we go live. This guy's coming right back. He's, he's good, actually. Alan. Alan. Asian Alan. You know him or no? Check. Check. Thank you. So Corey's going to scoop this one up after flopping a pair of kings. Honestly, don't know where Hey, I'm talking to Joe. Joe said they, they got you on TV and there's no Carolina game. Yeah, they put it on on the screen. That's funny. They said they were gonna. Let me face him. Where did he go? Oh, we just wait till the hand. I'm full. Full. Eight. Full nine. Ten. Full one. Full three. Alright, so Ian is gonna go ahead and get in there. Nine, eight. And there's Corey bumping it up to 350. King 10 suited. Right here. 
Fight him and he's gonna take it down uncontested. One of the first raisin takes we've seen today. Definitely the first one we've seen in quite some time. Maybe the table's just anticipating Allen's return to the game. 10, 25, 50. He Checking it back, maybe a little afraid of that backdoor club. Surely missed out on some value. Corbin would have probably looked him up. If the price is right. C-bet, threw out 500 into 1,000. Now for Henry, just gonna smooth call. Turn king. Could get Corbin into some trouble. He improves the three of a kind. So opens the door for him to maybe catch a board pair or an eight on the river, fill up. Corbin. Continues with the same size, half pot on turn. Henry gonna put in the call again. Now River does pair the board, queen of diamonds. Corbin sitting here with king's full. Got a very fortunate run out there. Fill up, against Henry's flop flush. See him assembling his bet. Now he sizes down, going for value, best 1200. Trying to get looked up by something like a flush or a weaker hand in general of some kind. Queen X, maybe a straight that was slow playing also. Getting such a good price to see if Henry can find a way to not send 1200 over Corbin's way. 
good bed size by Corbin here. It made Henry think about it for quite some time. Any bigger, we probably would have seen a snap fold. Um, just post 15 and come back in. Henry did find a way to get away from it. Save himself the extra 12 hundo. 4K pot goes Corbin's way. Ready Ready. Let's do it. All in. Sounds We're like the hundred on in the. Uh, we don't have any more four. Ending fireworks. Immediately we see the hundred dollar straddle get put on. Gold six. The four seat. What? It's one blind for 50, and then nothing, and then 100. Fold 6, 7, who's trying to make? Like a sleeper shot, okay? Yeah. yeah. Of course, he's trying to complicate shit for everybody. Right? He doesn't straddle all the way. He doesn't straddle all the way. He's got two. Raise 300. Effort folds around to Corbin. He's going to make it 300 over the $100 straddle. Corey, the only caller. Heads up to go to King at 7 4. Corbin flops a pop pair. Plays it coy, checks it over. Corey doesn't take the bait, just checks it back. We're going to see the delayed C bet on the turn from Corbin. Corey hasn't folded yet. He's putting in the call. Maybe hoping to bluff at it on a river card. Comes down to King if he somehow tries to find a bluff. Could be bad for him. Corbin hits three of a kind. Very disguised as he did check the flop. 800 in the call. He bets it out. Corey puts in the call. Just does not think Corbin was going to check a king on that flop. That Corbin was bluffing. Instead. Corbin gets max value, scoops in a big pot there as Corey went for the bluff catch. We saw Corey pull up a huge bluff catch earlier with just ace high. I thought you had Jack Nine. <laughs> Jack Nine? Didn't work this time around for Corey, but in terms of bluff catching, showing a net profit on the day. on, seat seven. Back. Nice size pots for Corbin. Getting a massage, scooping all the chips. Easy game, easy life. Raise 200 in the one. Hold two, three, four. So the hundred dollar straddle was on. We saw a couple limps, and then Henry puts on a small raise, clicks it up to 200. Does sit in a little bit as the blinds fold, but we're gonna go three ways to King Nine Tray Rainbow Flop. Everyone's checking so far. Gets back to Henry. But he is going to take the C bet approach with his jack high. Looks like a gut shot straight draw. And two opponents had nothing. They're going to let it go. Henry takes this one down. Henry, well, it's been on the quieter side of things, but we have seen him pull off a couple of small bluffs like that. Someone taking advantage of. Maybe a tight image that he had early on in the game. Didn't have a lot of hands to speak of. Seems like he's been trying to open things up over the last hour or so. And feels like it's a good spot to do so. Here we actually see it pulled all the way around. Kai on the big blind, looks on his five dudes. Taj is going to get a walk in the straddle. Something we have not seen since I believe the first orbit. Everybody's kind of quieting down and feeling each other out here right now. Todd trying to splice that up a little bit. Alan, I am. So after a walk, we got an anti walk here. Straddle, straddle, straddle. Price is going to be 200 to go. Alan limped in. A bunch of folds. Todd limps. Todd. Two board. No. Just gonna jam it. 
making it around an 1800 stack, over the 200s, trying to steal this one away. 600 is dead money in the middle. Definitely worth stealing with his ace. 1730. Allen itching for action, asked for a chip count. We're going to see him put in a call with Queen Trace suited. does put in the call. Allen's itching for a run out. <laughs> and now Todd thinking to himself, he's going to give him a price. Only 1500 more. He's getting two and a half to one on this call. Todd, no stranger to giving action. Puts in the call. So we got a three-way pot. Almost 6K in the middle. And the hands we have Jack Deuce, Ace Seven Offsuit, and Queen Trace. Not what you would think to hear on a three-way all-in. Still have action on the side between Todd and Allen. Check, check. Can we go check, check? Neither player connects with the flop. Check, check. Turn nine, River Seven. Action just continues to check through as nobody's proud of their holdings and on. Gonna find the triple up with his E7, and it's gonna be good. <laughs> Just as we were talking about the game, maybe falling into a wall, it wakes all the way up. Alright, you're 50. get the triple up there with his. Gotcha. Just a seven. Get out of here, y'all take it easy. A little, un <laughs> a little unfortunate. There wasn't a showdown with Alan and Todd's hand. Yeah, two flush drops. <laughs> Better. Fifty bucks, everybody. So this new dealer comes in. Everybody's throwing up the fifty for the double board. No limit hold on bomb pot. Fifty dollars a piece going into the middle. I haven't exactly seen a monstrous cooler type situation in any bomb pots yet tonight. Seems in order as this table has been waking up. First hand we see here is Todd. He's got a top pair up top. Oh my god. All even in the number. All even, no problem. There's 400 in there. There's 400 in there. I don't know. I thought of it. Oh shit, man. The fuck I'm sitting on here. 100 from 9. 400. Come on. Wakes up with pocket kings. Middle set on the bottom. Over pair up top. Monster hand. Wow, case king too, because I see Todd has king queen. And Todd with top pair up top. Middle pair down bottom. We can see him easily stick around. Kyle, two pair at the top. Kyle's going to put in the raise, it looks like. This could be disastrous for him. It'd be real easy for On to counterfeit him on that top board. Man, I might have scoop. Walked in right at the right time. <laughs> this game has been absolutely bonkers. Yeah, this puts Todd in the blender. I think Todd was planning on a check raise. He has so much equity on these two boards. He's in the absolute worst spot possible with his hand. He's going to put in the call. So An's going to rip it. Happily get it all in here with those pocket kings. And An, fresh off the triple up. This is a $5,700 shove. Oh, look at this pot. I don't see how Kyle can get off of it here. Uh, he's, uh, I think he's committed, and yeah, he is all in as Todd, well. Todd immediately knows he's probably not good. Like nine. 
be honest, that's the most perplexed I've ever seen Todd. And you heard him immediately, his gut reaction was correct. You know, obviously, we can see it. He knew it almost immediately. Todd, a very fast, very thinking player. The old adage is think long, think wrong. Let's see if Todd falls for that here. He never takes long to act. No, does pretty doesn't. quickly fold. Yeah. Sticks with his gut. You heard him immediately say, I never should have called the 2200. <laughs> He's going to be so happy he didn't put in more chips here. He's oh. throwing just about dead for sure. Uh oh, unless he got the case queen, is all he can really go for. Him. Oh, Kyle. Does get oh no! There on top. Oh no! He Kyle got smoked. <laughs> <laughs> say, it was a bad spot for him. Oh no! Much more a free roll for On as he just needed a board pair up top. Wow. So On and he also just tripled up. <laughs> now finds over a double up. And he already had the bottom board to begin with, but the flush runs out for him on the bottom board, and then yeah, better two pair on the top. Ew. That's why when you're when you're in on shoes in a bomb pot like that, you have the absolute nuts on one board and you can get it in. Yeah. You happily take it. Just try and counterfeit your opponent on the other board. Yeah. I mean, you already know you got half of it locked up one way or another. So you're just free rolling the other one. And you got a very favorable run out. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> Nasty file. Ew. Now, bomb pots are gross. Yeah. Who was complaining about them earlier in the YouTube chat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were definitely voicing their opinion about how they uh, do not like bomb pots. You see to see why some people don't like them. Things can happen out of nowhere like that one. I mean, just a, in just a gross way too. Thousand dollar pot <laughs> getting shipped on way. It was just a short stack, all in free for seventeen hundred. And on just joined the game about like <laughs> what about an hour ago. Man. Two hands from 1800 all the way up to 14 today. Two hands. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. That's a good wage. It's good hourly. Oh yeah. All right. All right. It's okay. Take that hourly. Yeah. Anybody out there is looking, you know, for somebody with very few skills and they're willing to pay that much per hour. I'm your guy. <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> All right, so Corey gonna go ahead and get the action going here, bump it up to 225 with the raise. Corey, what's up, man? Good to see you in the uh, Facebook, man. Hope you're doing well game has been playing massive and I have a feeling as well look at this Corey dominating this board two pair ace queen um, I feel like that these players are going to be continuing to play after this uh, live stream is done uh, yeah I think so and I, I, I do know as well that there is a uh, list that is generated some people have came by and looked, looked at the <laughs> game and it's like yo <laughs> let me get in on this <laughs> On a Thursday night, Got the high stakes players coming out. It's definitely a good game. It doesn't take uh, much, much of a watch, much of a walk by to realize how good this one is. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I mean, I feel, I feel bad for Kyle though, man. Kyle worked himself back to being unstuck too, and then one hand, one hand just gets smoked on the bomb pot. Ew. Poker can be a nasty game sometimes. Yeah, can be. Unless sure. you're the one who wins the bomb pot, then it's the greatest game Then it's game the greatest sometimes. thing ever, yeah. <laughs> Kyle trying to get back in here now, putting in the call. And then Todd immediately puts in the three bet. Pretty sizable three bet, too. Todd lost a little bit in that hand. Yeah, he did. He did put in the call of the 2200 part and have to fold, so. Yeah, if he stayed in that hand, he would have probably lost a lot more. Roughly all of it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's a 
I think he pointed out post bomb pot. He would have won the side pot against Kyle. Gotcha. Yeah. So he would have won the side. He would have. He still would have lost a little bit, but he would have won a good chunk of it back. Yeah, that was just a weird hand for Todd's perspective of where he was at. I mean, he had low equity too. I think he had like seven percent equity. Yeah, it was, it was very, very minute. We've been drawing dead to a queen up top or exactly runner runner on both boards like it came out mm -hmm. against Kyle. Eight five queen flop here, so Kyle in the lead with the nines. Todd, here you go. At five hundred. I mean, this is the good news for Kyle. At least Kyle knows, as long as he's got some ammunition, all these chips that are on the table are in play. Nothing's locked up. We, we literally just saw On go from 1,800 to 14 into it. Yeah. Anything can happen very fast. It's very much so. Kind of ridiculous. Now Kyle, he's going to let it go, though. So Todd will go ahead and bluff his way through and take down this one. Considering how Todd plays, I mean, Kyle probably thinks Todd could have anything at that at that point. Crazy. I mean, and I know you were here for the last 10:25 game that happened on Saturday, and then we follow up with this 10:25 that's happening tonight. I've heard it's a, been some juicy action. Definitely no shortage in the action. The games I've been able to watch recently, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Corbin here, a pair of kings. I did just check it over. Let's see Corey fire out. Corbin. Corey was the original pre-flop raiser, so. King High Board does favor him, throwing out the C-bet. Well, that improves even more to now top two for Corbin, King seven. And here's Corey again, drawing dead, continuing that aggression. That's a seemingly safe card to keep firing on for Corey. He gets to represent the ace-king type hands, king-queen, things he would open with. Obviously, Corbin didn't three-bet, so you can take king, ace-king out of his range. But then you get a tell with that type of a raise. A $11,000 raise on a bet of six fifty. dollars uh, Just trying to put Corey all in, sitting on about 4300 behind. Yeah. It's a pretty big raise, though. Definitely interesting. Nut advantage does favor Corey. He can have ace king, pocket kings. Yeah. Corbin can't since he didn't three bet. Usually you don't see that big of a raise. Yeah, that was a huge raise. I mean, I felt like Corbin could have got the job done with a obviously something much smaller than that, but I think it might be going for the max value. If Corey has aces, the ace king. Sure. Any of the bigger hands, he's gonna call. I'm cool with either one. Seven deuce, everybody pays hundreds. Make sure everybody understands. Yeah, so I don't play. You don't play it? Then we can't play it. What about stand up? You don't want that one either? Stand up? Stand up game? You don't like that either? Okay. No problem. All pretty good suggestions. Considering the way this game is played, though, like I feel like that would just been like an add on, you know? I mean, the action's been. Pretty good, really Pretty good, good as is. Yeah, usually it's something you want to do, especially the stand-up game, really spices the game up if it's starting to slow down a little bit. Yeah. It feels like every time this game even flirts with slowing down, something ridiculous happens. Queen Jack, 10 flop, two diamonds. So if Henry does hit a pair of 10s plus the open ender.
Come on. <laughs> Todd got it through. We're believing him for now, huh? Huh. It's fun how the game kind of goes through that shift. No one believes him, and everyone believes him. I'm just surprised Henry folded a pair of tens and an open ender on that for 200. I wonder if he actually had 10-9. Yeah, I would imagine so. If he thinks that Todd has a real hand, then easily dominated. Todd connects with that in any way. He's either got a bigger straight draw. That's fair. Pairs. Yeah. May have already completed his straight with that type of flop, too, maybe. If a king comes out and you think your opponent was bluffing with an ace and they hit a better straight than you. Right. Yeah. I still think I would have made that call just to see a turn. <laughs> but I get it. I just I just don't think I, I would have folded there. Yeah. I think especially against an opponent like Todd, it's definitely worth continuing for at least one street. See what yeah. the turn brings. For sure. See it. Force him to keep firing. Mm -hmm. As Chris at Facebook says, he's playing a little timid for this game. Talking about Henry. Yeah. And obviously, you always want to be thinking a, a street or two ahead of your opponent. But at the same time, you don't want to let the fear of that street kind of dictate what you do now. You know, force them to make the good play. Don't say, well, he's going to make a good play, so I'll yeah. pull now. I think, and I think that's kind of like my thinking on that, too. Yeah. Like, I mean, I still have a pretty good part of this board. You know, I can continue on for for that amount and just see what happens. Yeah, the, I mean, if I lose, I lose. I mean, it is what it is. That's poker, right? <laughs> it's definitely a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you got a mystery hand for Corey. Let's uh, play. Let's guess what Corey has. Although Todd does fire out. Mm -hmm bet here a 450 has a pair of trays and then Corbin puts in the raise the 1200 cool so he's starting to pick up on the Todd is mm -hmm. getting a little active dynamic Todd puts in the call Todd knows that Corbin knows he's getting a little crazy <laughs> <laughs> he knows that he knows that I mean, he knows those two definitely seem to Frequently kind of run into that leveling war so far on this stream today, too. Yeah. It's been a lot of them playing into each other, playing back with each other. That's why we saw a huge pot brew out of nowhere when Corbin tried to bluff Todd in a big pot earlier. Mm -hmm. And that's when Corbin learned uh, you can never bluff Todd. As, as he's here bluffing Todd. <laughs> as he's here bluffing Todd. <laughs> trying he it again. How not to do it. Yep. What was it? Uh, Matt DeAndre was in here said, oh, don't worry, he'll try it again. Well, here he is. He knows. <laughs> Does go check, check on the turn. And now we got trips. Trips for Todd. Let's see if Todd can find a check. He's on the list already. Let's see a good check, check on the turn. If Todd reads that for weakness out of Corbin. He might check it over. Open, he hangs himself. But if he thinks Corbin checks back for pot control, then maybe we go with a bet here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Corbin does check it over to Todd. And there's a 2K bet from Todd. Snap full. Snap full from Corbin. Just wanted to see some fireworks, you know? Yeah. Just like that, Todd scoops up a decent sized pot there. Back to almost 10K in front of him. It's been a wild and fun game. Let's go ahead and do a quick stat update, too. I know it's been a minute, things have been kind of wild. Yeah, look at that. Look at that swing for Ain. He's doing all right. Yeah, he's doing okay. He's doing pretty good. Todd back up a little bit now. Corey, Henry, and Corbin are all kind of even right now for the most part. Wow, Allen. Stuck 10K. And Kyle stuck about 3,500. Still find easily find a comeback in this game. There you see the V-Pips. Lowest is Kyle at 28%. I mean, when the, the lowest. V, when the V-Pips are sub 30% for the most part, and then quite a few players well above that. Definitely good game. Been a great one. All right, Kyle in there now. Ace King suited. Puts in the raise the 225. Corbin's going to go ahead and put in the call with Jack Six suited. 
Io does hit a king on the swap. He's going to check it. Corbin's going to bet 300. It is an all diamond board. Kyle not blocking any of those diamonds. Now queen on the turn. Let's go check, check. A blank deuce on the river. Kyle, I'm going to go ahead and bet 500. Corbin's going to let go, so Kyle gets a nice little pot back there. It's always nice to take down a pot with one pair. I don't know exactly where you're sitting at. Yeah, it's such a wet board. Still kind of feel bad for Kyle with uh, getting stacked by Todd early in the game and then ran it back up, was doing very well, and then one bomb pot later, uh, gone in the instant. All in front of Ain right now. It's gone. Yeah, it'll be fun to see if he can battle it back yet again. Everybody loves a good comeback story. This is true. Kyle was stacked real early on to this game, if I remember right. Then came all the way back, so. Look at this. Corey puts in the raise of 275. Fee calls Corbin while getting massaged. He's going to go ahead and put in the call as well. 10, King, 5. Two clubs. So a pair of kings for Fee is what's in the lead. What's up? Good to see you in the uh, Facebook chat. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. It's 1025 live stream we got for you here on a Thursday night. Definitely appreciate you guys being with us. other magic tricks you can come on down to best bet <laughs> three locations dinner and a show i bet that i bet i bet Some i can't cards. stack this hand <laughs> fun night our big uh big beer promotion going on as well wow all right so we got a few callers coming in here wow six players at this swap already 1200 in the middle there was a big raise too saw corbin open it to 200 so yeah here we go nine four ace flop so let's see pair of nines for corey is what's in the lead right now Six players going to the flop in a raised pot, and none of them have an ace. Cocktail. Now uh, Trey on the turn. Corey's nine still in the lead. Wild to see that there's six players in this hand, and Allen is not one of them. <laughs> I'm just, just saying. True. These are facts. And they're still all in his hand. Although Kyle did fire out a bet now. Yeah. Kyle bet 700. Definitely going to thin this one out. Yep. Holding just a pair of fours here and everyone's still behind. Hell, he didn't want to let it go, but Todd does find the fold. Henry let go of the open ender with everybody behind him. Now Corey. Just a pair of nines. It's so hard not to believe somebody has an ace, but 
He does flick in the call. Or he does find the call. Four on the river. Corey really just doesn't believe Kyle would have checked an ace on the flop, I believe. Yeah. By the way, Ain would have uh, hit trips. Of course. On that river. <laughs> if he was still in. Corey did find the call. Wow, the Corey. So I think. I think it all just goes back to the flat, but the fact that you don't think Kyle would check an ace last to act on the flop. Right. When you got a, a piece of information that you just to stick to, you know, if you think that's true, then your nine's going to be best. The way the hand just kept playing out. Wow. It's always interesting when you can go back and just replay everything in your head and just be like, okay. This would have played out differently if he would have had this in his hand. If that's what he's trying to say that he had. Yeah, I don't imagine, again, from Corey's perspective, Kyle had the button. Uh, you're not checking any multi way, last to act, maybe first to act. You know, people from early position sometimes check there, see what the pre flop raiser does. But Corey just stuck to his guns with that read. Obviously, it was a very safe run out. Well, here we actually saw Corbin limp in with Ace King, and nobody raised it up. I think he was getting a little tricky going for a back raise. We've seen that successfully pulled off a few times tonight. This time, not so much. Now Corbin is going to go ahead and bet here. He to take it down regardless. Yeah. Ain with the. A seven in his hand does put in the call. Trey on the turn does complete diamonds. Hain also hoarding the four of diamonds. He's gonna go check check. He's gonna check around. He's gonna take it down. Can't stop him tonight. Nope. Like I said, guys, our uh, March uh, calendar is up on the website as far as uh, tournament schedule, including the Run Good Poker Series, as well as uh, promotions that's going to be going on. Uh, the end of the mar month, March 29th, speaking of the 24K day, uh, we're bringing that back here at Best Bet Jacksonville on March 29th. Starting right at 10 a.m., $500 high hands for the first 30 minutes, $1,000 high hand for the last 30 minutes every hour. Again, that's going to take place on March 29th. It's one month from now. It is. Exactly a month away. You guys can't wait that long. If you want to visit me over in Orange Park, we'll be doing 10K Day. I see that. March 9th. Mm -hmm. You can always attend both. You don't, it doesn't have to be exclusive. And since you, that goes till midnight and the live stream ends at 9, <laughs> it makes you be able to make it. Might like see you there. there. Might see me there. Might be there. Of course, uh, Orange Park doing the Insta Pays on Sundays and Wednesdays. Seems like that's been pretty good for you guys. You know, some days yes, some days no. It's a matter of perspective. <laughs> True. If you run bad like me, and anytime you get on the board with something, it tends to get beat, then it's kind of nice because you get paid immediately. Yep. If you're on the luckier side of things, your hands generally hold. Maybe you don't like it as much. Kind of just depends on the day. You know, I'll hear Todd flop the 10 high straight. Yeah, just flop the goods. And two pair. Now that's a pretty actual flop, two pair versus straight. Pretty clean run out. Easy to think your two pair is still best. Now Todd betting 1,500 here. Todd can keep firing away and probably gonna get looked up. <laughs> <laughs> If I win this one, you look at a high. Come on. <laughs> wow. And put it in the call. Rare, rare bad spot for him. Yeah, yeah, rare big bad one. Todd is going to keep that one up. We're going to see Todd take a big pot. <laughs> I'll be honest. I think it's hard. 
I think it's really hard to pick like a best player at this table. Like obviously Todd is probably the, the more balanced, like great, you know, very much action, the most aggressive player. Corey's really good in his own right. Uh, it's my first time seeing Corbin and uh, Ann on this table too. Corbin's been solid for years. Yeah. We haven't seen him on stream, but from what I've seen off stream, very good. Obviously, Kyle's made his rounds, a lot of experience. Yep. He seems to just completely run oh, exactly no. like this hand. Yeah, he here stream, we go. Oh, uh, damn. Here we go again. The classic. I really hate to ever like believe in like the run good, run bad. Like you always try to fight against that mentality. Uh huh. But every time Kyle's on stream, this seems to happen. Yep, and he is all in for what he has Maybe. left. I mean, easy, easy. Yeah. Oh, and Corey's like, well, I tried with my fours. All right, well, Star over in Facebook says there's a king coming. I so hope so, Star. Let's see if she's right. Hope so. By the way, how are you doing, Star? Hope you're doing well. Be doing better if a king comes out. It should be doing a lot better if a king. Oh my gosh, she called it. Are you serious, Star? Star with the grace. Oh no! That just happens. That just happens. <laughs> oh my lord. That is the worst. I just want to point out Kyle's dis disposition, though. He just smiled and nodded. Oh my gosh. The miracle ace on the river. Wow. Oh my gosh. Kyle, bro, I'm sorry, man. I am so sorry that happened. That is so gross. I mean, I'm being honest. I mean, you can call it a cop-out answer. That's fine, whatever. But, I mean, I'm being honest. All these guys are good in their own right. Like, it's, it's hard to pinpoint who's the quote-unquote best player. I mean, clearly, clearly Kyle's the worst at runouts. Oh, very much so, yeah. We just saw Kyle's the worst player there. That's my <laughs> But anyway, back to more important people. Star, I hope I can see you at the Run Good series. I'm sure you'll be uh, back during the Run Good, March 14th through the 24th. I mean, how do you rebound after that one? Like, that was... I mean, I know how I do, but I don't think it's the right answer. So... <laughs> Let's <laughs> right. see how Kyle does it, because it's going to be better than... <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure if I see Kyle tomorrow, I'm going to hear about that one. Oh, that's, that was just, that's a heartbreaker, man. It has such a heartbreaker. Meanwhile, the uh, flopped a, a pair on both top and bottom board of this bomb hot. Ugh. Dan, you saw that too, right? Sheesh. Yeah, that hurt. Oof. See Fee wake up with Jax. Just gonna limp in here. Yeah, that's in the call. We did have a hundred dollar straddle on. I think a lot of people try to get sneaky with big hands with the limps. Worked a few times earlier. It's not working recently. But again, no raise pre flop. So Fee doesn't get his wish. Come down king high, so Henry with the best hand. Todd with middle pair. We see Fee lead out. 
Todd puts in the call. Henry actually got out of there with top pair. Yes. We'll go off to a pretty clean run out. Just going to check through. Both players happy to take their showdown value, and these jacks are going to be best. Let's see if we get a player taking Kyle's place after that. Quote unquote, heartbreaking hands. I think that might be the best way to sum it up. Definitely, it was not pretty to see. <laughs> oh, might be stuck with me solo for a minute. The country went out to throw up after watching it. Double up, triple up, triple up. Looks like they're waving somebody over. Call them in from the, bull, the bullpen. Let's see what we got. Right here, dude. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, Whatever it is, they want him in. I would. I would. We'll move you next time. Okay, Corey. Hey, you coming in, Corey? Yeah. 50 to go. It's your 25. All right, see you with the pocket pair again. This time it's pocket eight. Slight downgrade. I got some stuff for us. The most you can lose is. That's sick. Stand-up game might happen. It's basically whoever is the last person to win a hand has to beat everybody a hundred. So everybody put a hundred. Yeah. I got everything under control. Most you can lose is seven hundred. <laughs> and you got a one in eight chance. We do, we do it for a hundred. Last one to win a hand pays everyone else a hundred. Once we start it, right, when you win a hand, you get a button. Right? So you can see, now you're, now you're clear for that round. The last person did not have a button pays everybody one hundred dollars. Basically, you can't maybe see your card. Yeah, you just have to play more hands. That's really what it as long as you're not the last person to win the hand, like win a hand, you, you, you win hundred bucks. Like if it's dark, whoever wins sit down. The last person to not sit pays everybody. But we do the buttons. Last man standing. You have to win a hand to get a chip. Last man standing has to pay hundred. You don't actually have to stand. Yeah, we use the buttons. Let's get a button. Okay. I check. Simple game. You we'll do it one time. We win this. We win this. I don't want. No, we sit. Okay, we sit. That's why we use those. Okay, yeah, we do that. Five. Four. Pretty excited to see that game get on in this lineup. Already been ridiculous enough. Are you coming back in? We'll just we'll wait for a little bit. Yeah. You're taking this seat. You'll move Corey over to the six. Okay. We're going to wait a little while. We'll see okay. how Alan goes. Sure. If he was plus, he's going to leave. I understand. So if he doesn't work for it, no problem. No problem. We still have a while, so we're good. Now, though. So we almost got the gin money card on the turn. The four of diamonds. Wow. Now we do get a spade on the customer. river. Wow. That's it? Okay. See, I'm not going to want it. Don't take my happiness. Paul. 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 Todd picked up another, another nice spot. He'd be closer. Trying to get back to that 10 k mark. They got some big ones. Alright, you can move Corey over to the 6 sun. Nah. I need to move Get a massage. No, 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 no. You weren't even talking to me. What are you thinking? 10, 25, 50. What should hit his fucking own way? Oh, yeah, not like a thousand. Zero, 50 for you. I'm trying to bet 3,000 on the clock. So he's in this box? Yeah, that box, yeah. You're going to see. These are sick. 3,000 is it? It's going to be very expensive for me to change this flush. Call 9. Hold 1. Call 2. Raise 300 in the 3. I know. Grab three orange. I thought you were about to make three thousand five hundred. Yeah, I just tried to scare you. Six, seven, eight, three hundred. Okay, I'm playing loose up there right now, so. No buttons. No buttons. No buttons. Are we not playing, though? No, not yet. No stand up yet. That's why I tried to. Three players. You thought we were playing? Yeah. You don't listen. Bro, you know my English, I don't fucking understand. Uh, <laughs> two, three, nine, for three hundred. So it's call nine, call I two, would, I, raise If I go all in, you say call so fast. You say call so fast. Well, I, I just want them all. Hey, what do you do, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Check. 
all in. I can't see no, 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 no. Raise 2,000. No, no, no. To clarify, the stand-up game is not on yet. This is all happening naturally. One, two. <laughs> Alan Jam with a jack. Corbin put in the raise to isolate. I know he's one, but for you two. Close. First run out, not good for Alan. Second run out is clean as well. And Corbin is going to take it down. Much to... Maybe some of our dismay. Okay, let me see if I let me see if I want to find it. Give me a few minutes. You want me to hold it for a second? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, stand up game starting now. Well, no, if he comes in, you see oh, yeah, it won't matter. It won't matter. Yeah, we'll matter. You don't have to, you know. All right, see, so I'll play the stand up game now. He's going to take that longer than no, that to get to. Yeah. All right, so Sounds we like stand up game is happening. Wait for Quack. Wait for could get entertaining. Henry, you okay with that? Yeah. So you can I did a one look at the big game in the huh? thing. I did a last stand. Yeah, yeah, I can sit with the Luckily, we don't have to stand anymore. It's way better. 50 to go. Call one. Call three. 325 in the seven or six. So I'll give me a uh, two. Oh, okay. You need to order with Nancy? Okay. Yeah, please. Nancy. Cocktails. Oh, do you want to order some food? Uh, yeah. Fried, oh, fried chicken. Fried chicken. Okay. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Back on the river, doesn't go for it all. Fortunate timing for him not to really go for it. They have these buttons. Corey brought these buttons. Yeah, they're good. Where did the 2K go? In the bag? Hell yeah. Like this? We're all 100 a minute. 100 a person. We can do this. We can do it if you want. Yeah, I like it. We can decide. So at the end, we can decide. But like, we can do a flip for all of them. This one. This one. This one. That one. That one. I always. How much more fun? I don't want to show it. So we play the stand-up game, right? And then what's the losers and the winners? Oh, raise two hundred and thirty. Is everybody out? Right. But we do a call for that eight hundred bucks. So like the winner is a free roll. We do an eight hundred. Six. Okay, the terms have been decided. Stand up game underway. Good hear what Todd was explaining there. They did this on the stream last week. Instead of a loser of the stand up game, throwing the 100 to every player, they just put it in the middle and do a run out for it. It's even more degenerate here. But don't hate that wrinkle. Never seen it before last week, but I do like it. Call. He's going to lead with his open ender. Immediately call by Alan with a straight draw of his own. Gut shot. He's over to Corey, who's open ended with 8 7. He's going to call. And now Todd, bottom pair, getting an amazing price. He's sticking around. Top foot, everybody up. 
don't know this name. Yes, help me out. I don't know if there's anybody winning here, really. Check. 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 Queen 10 went from open ending value out of it, but stands right now. It's got a monster hammer lock on it. Can't be loving that kicker he's got. So far, actions checking through. 1,606. Corey fires out a bluff. His mid straight and flush draw. Thank you. Jack did pair the board on the turn. It would have been top pair on the flop. Looks like that's what she might be worried about. Thank you. He's going deep in the tank here. Certainly a rough spot, and it's the first hand of the stand-up games. So that always adds a lot of wrinkles. Yeah. He's starting to count on calling chips. Let's see if he can find it. Doesn't he lets it go? Oh man, when this one goes to showdown, because Corey will have to show his hand to accept his button. There it is, feet frustrated. <laughs> New to the table, Derek gives his applause for approval. First hand the stand up game. Massive delight. Oh, we're on stand up, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit, how many hands in? One hand. I just got her, we got her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got hands in, I got hands in behind me too. Yeah, I almost did it, but he got right. a monster. Yeah, all y'all tamed out, like, fuck. Uh, every, every single person. person. <laughs> 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 but you made it. 100 hands in. Yeah, I yeah, straddle 100. <laughs> Three, four, 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 four. Corey's going to open it up again. Corey's already got his butt in front, so he is safe. No reason for his three bet to or his raise to be overly light. Todd doesn't care though. He's putting in the immediate three bet to 1100. Raise. That's what I did. Corey's just going to jam it. I'm gonna put in the call for seven thousand. Can get Trey suited? He came to gamble tonight. Two times. I got quads. Quads? For real? I thought quads was good. Yeah, nice, bro. I thought quads was good. Ends hold on the first run out. Or he can hold on the second for the full scoop. Oh, two boards. Oh, queen of spades on the turn on the second run out. That is going to lead to the chop as on improves the flush. No button. No button. Need a scoop to get the button. I don't care. I'm on a line. I call off of the top. Bro, call me on three, bro. Hey, but Ken, call you a king three? Yeah. Call him three. Suit it? Suit it. Oh, he hit a flush. He hit a flush on him. Oh, shit. That's how much You lucky you didn't get scooped? No, he's lucky. So nobody gets a button. Shot on 100. No one gets a button. You know why? It's 
There's a dry side pot, so neither one check. really needs to be bluffing at it here. No money to be gained with the bluff. Check, check. Action continues to check. Neither check. one approves. Ace on the river. That's going to let Henry's ace hold up and be best. Pocket eights hold. Two aces and a jack come out. The eight, the best hand Henry will be safe in the stand up game as well. I'll put Chris over at Facebook asks, why aren't they standing? What they do is they use that little button. Corey's actually holding it right there. They use the button to display which players are safe rather than physically stand up. That's people from having to stand for long periods and on the off chance that there's somebody who can't physically stand, it's a little bit more welcoming to use the button. In a lot of places, use the buttons and label the game the mid game or the stand up game. Alan is actually back at the table to see if he joins in on this. Pop comes down, five trade deuce. Ah, just flopping the nuts. Corbin with an over pair. Oh, and this one up. There it is. That raised shove. I'm doing the. Do I really have it? Snap calls. Holy cow! That's a pot out of nowhere. 15k in the middle. Okay, go. One, two. One. One. 
and they are just going to run it once. And oh, nine on the turn. Board pair would get it there, but on fades the board pair. Sick turn for Corbin. Gave him a breath of life. On. Gonna be up over 15k yet again. Hang on, Shay. Much fun, guys. Huh? It's fun, guys. Yeah, I'm dead on one. I turn a lot of outs. Turn this option. 5625. Yeah, massive, massive pot. Get shipped across the table here. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it was uh, you you want to come in for the 50? I'm back, guys. I'm back. So it'll still, since he's out of the blinds, it'll still be blinds, yeah. So move that third blind to C2 and put him in for however much it is. If I wait, it'll be, I gotta wait a few more hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You don't want to wait. Move the third blind to seat two and bring him in for what's it? Four thousand? Not a single hand. Yeah. Four thousand. Yeah. You'll end up losing the stand-up game. All right, so uh, Chris, we'll show stats at the dealer change. Uh, Shouldn't be too far away. Nah, not too far away at all. But going to start on the button. I do want to provide you guys a small little update that uh, we will have bonus live stream coverage for you tonight. We're going to take this to midnight, so typically we end at 11 o'clock, but uh, the players did ask and we obliged. I think, I think this game warrants a little bit of overtime. Yeah, wow, look at this. Look at these chip stacks now. And Allen pocket tens. He's the short stack. He might, I mean, the way his night's going, he might jam. He might, it could easily get in here. And he is going to raise. 1250. 1250. In the two, 1250. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting that one. <laughs> Look at this, Corbin with Queen Jack offsuit. They originally raised things up on the button. Call. He's put in the call. In the three. And a call. Todd puts in the call as well. Three players. All right, three players. Oh wow, a jack oh. for Corbin and Allen now oh. jams all in. And Todd has a flush draw with six deuce. And Corbin is now all in. This is wild. This has probably been so far our most action game that we've had to start off the year in 2024. Todd with a flush draw, a very small flush draw, but it is a flush draw nonetheless. 64, 64, 65, we got 2,000, 4,000, 5,000, six, one, two, three, four, 64, 65. So Corbin is all in for 64, 65. That's what his all-in is, 6,465. So stats are a little off. 6,465. Todd. He's got the calling chips ready. Call. And he puts in the call. See some blood? Wow. I'm a ones guy. Where are you going to chips? Hang any chips? Do you have any chips? I don't I don't know if I need but maybe 2750 my hand not that good what you got 2750 <laughs> Huh? Ronan just making sure all the pots are right here. It's a $16,789 pot in the middle. So actually, that's, there's a side pot in there. So I think in, that's everything in total. 
Oh my gosh, and Todd completes his flush. Flush. Wow, Todd is going to take it all with the flush. Wow. Todd said he thought he got counterfeited when that four spade came out. That's a 17K pot being shipped over to Todd, completing his flush on the turn. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the mountain of chips that Todd L now has in front of him. Yeah, adjust those gunners, Mike. You're seeing it right. <laughs> Game on. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Shane, there's quite a few you, things you missed tonight. But not much. This is a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm still reeling from the hand that busted Kyle. That was just awful. Yeah, P and Kyle were in a hand. Aces versus Kings. The King came on the flop to give Kyle the set, but then the uh, Ace on the river. Uh, gross one. Yeah, six deuce suited ship it. Diamonds on the turn. <laughs> it's a good thing you've been watching, Shane. Otherwise, you would have had to hit rewind and watch just about the whole thing anyway. Yeah, it's been wild. <laughs> look, at the, look at the mountain <laughs> that Todd has. What do you mean, 2000 in black? Yes. Thousand. He led one K, Corey. Thinking about it. Fuck, I can't miss a hand. I got stand up game. I need to be here. Alright, you can put. Oh, he is going to call if you open a straight draw. Oh, an ace on the river. Corey gets there. Corey does complete Broadway. What did he have? Did he show? He showed me that. What did he have? 2100. 10? 2200. Fire out rather than check it over. <laughs> Yeah, Shane, we'll show, we'll show stats on the dealer change. I think this is the last hand for Ronan. Definitely, definitely some numbers have shifted in the last 30 minutes. Yeah, I mean, and I'm not 100% sure the uh, stats are 100% accurate because there's definitely been a lot of things happening. But they're as close as it can be. I can assure you, Todd is probably up the most right now. It's probably the... Uh, the overall consensus. I think it's safe. Han's not far behind. Yeah, Han's not far behind either. <laughs> Just a pair of tens, but he's trying to think would Corey potentially bluff on this board. I mean, flush is uh, completed, and he is going to let it go. 
Right. And Corey did a uh, show. Showed feet. Showed feet. We know, we know. Like, you love it. It's feeling Corey was previously house. safe in a stand up game. Right. Didn't need to show the oh, buttons. Button. He's already got oh, it. I don't have a lot, man. Fucking Jared, what do you mean? All right. So, you guys wanted to see stats. I like stats. Um, stats are good. Yeah. That's the way it looks. Todd and Ain are your big winners right now. Todd up 15K, Ain up 13K, Corey and Henry also up. Bad night for Allen and Corbin right now as they are stuck buckets. And there's a look at the V-Pips. Derek uh, just joined our game a little bit ago. He played four hands. Yes. V-Pips for one of them. Everybody else. A third of hands or more. Multiple people at 50%. And the stand-up game just started. This, uh, needless to say, game, game on has been very good. <clears throat> Genesis, Corbin, and Allen. Sweating. I mean, what they're stuck, we've seen in one pot before. Just a couple of hands, they could get even. It's been a swingy, swingy table. And none of the chips are locked up. The two players who are up the most are probably the two biggest action players. Maybe two of the top three since Allen's over there in the two seat. You don't even know how to say no. Me, me. You can't say no. Me. As the players were pointing out, the start of this double board bomb pot stand up game is off on the double board bomb pot. So oh, for sakes! Just That's a me. small FYI. <laughs> One crazy game at a time. A couple big pocket pairs for the pot of fee here. Either one hits a set. Todd bet out with the over pair to both boards. There he is. Call now. Allen's in there. He's got a pair of trays down bottom. Gunshot straight troll up top. Corbin holding a six. He's going to put in the raise, obviously. Three sixes in total out there. He's got the case one. Knows that he has the nuts on the bottom board. Barring pocket trays, of course. Which somebody has pocket trays, then he's got the best hand up top. Should I he get it all in? Didn't Freddy have a hand that had a six in it that took down the bomb pot too? <clears throat> I think this is the second time. Look at this. Todd and Fee. That pocket pairs. Todd has kings in a bomb Todd pot. Todd just rips it. It's bad news for him. Yeah. Well, not the worst news, honestly. Could could spike a king to improve. There you go. So far, off to a chop. And that's the second spot we're gonna have. Yep, chop indeed. Big pot, but no scoop. Corbin and Todd chopping it up. Corbin's six holds on the bottom. Todd's king's hold up top. Yep. Neither one. Spiked anything to suck out on the other. You now, Todd hits a king on the bottom, he would improve. But Corbin spikes a. Nine up top without the board pairing. He could have improved to a scoop. Seems fair that neither one sucked out on the other one. Yeah, again, guys, uh, we are having a little bonus live stream coverage tonight. We are going to take this live stream to midnight, more like 12.15 uh, with a 15 minute delay. Of course we do, as uh, when I say we, I mean Mike and I do commentate over the delay feed that you guys are watching. Two 
So Corbin opened things up with the old 6 4. Are you not going? You're not going anywhere? Not an aim, huh? Yeah. It's a, a wild game. Eights are still good right now for Todd. Well, Corbin going to throw out that C bet, though. Yeah. Flopping in a straight draw. Was checked to him, and as a pre flop raiser, he can have a lot of the aces. Instead, both players pretty quickly call. Six on the turn. Everybody's got a pair. Corbin might check it back since he got some showdown value, but he immediately fires out. Going to keep the pressure on. Got respect. Todd folds his pocket eights, which were the best hands. Mm -hmm. Gains a non-believer. Think about putting in a call with his deuce. He's gonna let it go. Well, yeah, obviously he wasn't winning. He was right in the fact that Corbin didn't have an ace, but you know, Corbin's six was still better. So Corbin brought back in for another three K, and he doubled back up, but I, mean, I think he's still stuck quite a bit. Still stuck about. Uh, might be an understatement. Yeah, it's stuck about 17 K still. Roughly one yeah, yeah. Honda yeah, Accord. Yeah. <laughs> right, a little bit. If you remind me, pay. We can remind out. Remind me, man. Well, this was a very fun stream, guys. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We appreciate you guys watching this 1025 cash game. <laughs> Appreciate the players for sticking around longer. Appreciate you guys watching for sticking around longer. Yeah, the fact that they uh, wanted to continue playing on the stream. Definitely. Appreciate that for sure. Again, just a reminder, guys, don't forget the uh, Run Good Poker Series making its return to Best Bet Jacksonville. March 14th through the 24th. So basically, between you and you. You gotta win a hand before he wins one, or he wins one, or you go to the day. Can you get my pack of cigarettes? You guys can see the entire tournament schedule on our website, bestbetjacks.com. Ten eight king rainbow board. Corbin has a pair of tens. A pair of eights for fee. That is pretty much it. Not a lot of draws out there for anyone. Just some back doors, but I mean, yeah. So, that being said, we're going to see Derek fire at it. Yeah. <laughs> About three quarters pot. Betting 800 and 1200. Derek, one of the players not safe in the stand up game that's currently on. Maybe he's trying to steal one away here. Get his cells out safe. Corbin. Corbin taking a look to see how much Derek has left behind. Definitely win his options there. Oh, 800 with uh, 2K in the middle. One hand. Might be reading that his hand is best right now. On the other hand, it's hard to withstand a lot of barrels on a turn. A lot of dangerous turn cards could come. Yeah. If his opponent's semi bluffing. And it looks. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a. Definitely indecisive. I thought you won when you showed me. he doesn't want to let go. One time He's really trying to put together how many combinations does he have that are beating me, how many combinations does he have that are straight draws, semi bluffs. Because, yeah, like you said earlier, there's a lot of cards that can come out that could put, you know, his hand in, in danger. And I think as soon as he started talking there to Derek about 
Uh, what could you have here? What might it be? Corbin might be thinking it's just kind of all in her fold now. This is opponent either has a semi bluff. Hard to put him on a pure bluff, but it could have a lot of semi bluffs, straight draws that would call an all in, given how short Derek is. <clears throat> I think once Corbin realized he was that short, comes a pretty polarizing decision. Yeah. Yeah, Super Corbin game. does let it go, and yeah. Derek takes it down. Yeah, he didn't want to. Didn't want to fold. I did it. I did it. I helped you there, buddy. Uh, uh, yeah. I want no call for <laughs> You call ten. Well, and Derek is also a very difficult player to try to get a read on. His mannerisms never change. <laughs> Nah, mm -hmm. okay. you know, you know. Most players on this table are pretty comfortable with these states, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is nothing new to them. Uh, it's between you and me right now. Yeah, you can only get one. All right, so I think uh, as far as standout game goes, it's between Alan and Fee that are left that have not gotten a button. Yeah, I had a pair. So, I was wondering what those were, but now it makes sense. It's a lot easier to see than the clear lamers we were used to use. Yeah. Well, I just never seen them before. I was like, what are those? And they're like, oh, okay. All right, so let's see. Henry pair at nines, but a 10 for Todd. So again, Allen maybe trying to steal one. He maybe trying to steal one. You don't want the other one to win a pop before you. You think he's nice now? Todd and heads up the turn. Eight shows up, eight of diamonds. <laughs> 400 out of Todd, looks like a pretty thin value bet. Looks like he is just milking feet here. Four on the river. Todd loves the best of it. He bets out another yeah, 400. Real thin. <laughs> one real thin. <laughs> And Fee just starts laughing like, I can't be good, but that's so cheap. That's just exactly why Todd bets it. Yeah. Really targeting weaker tens. Everybody know that. Some nines. The whole world know that, right? When he bet big, I mean he got shit on the nuts. Yeah, guys, again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching this uh, 1025 cash game. Uh, we will be back at it tomorrow. It was already going to be hard enough to follow up this live stream, but... Uh, We'll be back into low stakes action tomorrow with a 2-2 game. We'll get that going around 6-15 tomorrow. Then on Saturday, we'll be back at it with a 2-5 deep stack cash game. Just a reminder, the uh, March live stream schedule is up on the website. If you'd like to sign up for any of our games, you can go there, bestbetjacks.com. You can sign up for any of the cash games that we have coming up. I see our uh, big games that we have coming up uh, during the Run Good series have already been booked. Oh, yeah. So, big tournaments, big cash games. Let's yep. go. That's uh, exactly what's going to end up happening. Pretty excited for, for that. When are you going to learn, When are you going to learn? I'm not going to learn. Got the number now. It's like we went three ways and a three bet pot and now all spades and Todd has the spade to have ace of spades and there's a song about that in that card mm -hmm. <coughs>
Come on, dude, use that ace of spades to throw a nice size bet. Take this one away. Just look at Todd's up over 25,000 in his chip stack. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, Corbin is officially out. Miss uh, Miss is blind here. Like the fairness between yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, Lynch not so far. Yeah, yeah. Ian Allen, the last two players remaining in the stand up game. Both going to be involved in this pot. Out to go five ways to a flop of seven and six tray. Rainbow board. Henry. Yep, in here with middle set. Allen flops top pair. It could be disastrous for Allen. Oh no, Allen's bad night. He's going to just fire out 2x pot, 500. Does have a backdoor to club. Definitely needs a club to. Corey thinking Allen's trying to steal it. Puts it in the call with his 9 7. Oh man. Henry just chilling over here in the one seat. Can't wait till it gets back to him. I want to like you. I want to grow up like you. You said you don't understand because I don't. When, I, when he wants to grow up, he wants to be like me. Yeah, y'all in this position. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all in this position. Henry is going to trap, man. Yeah. I played a lot of football. He's in the call. Rainbow board. Gets to play in position. He's just going to call and hope for a clean run out. Well, that makes it interesting. Allen and Corey now with the same uh, straight draw. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine Corey's going to call here after Allen open shoves. You know, you do. Well, it's about a pot size bet. Another hand. Henry now. Interesting spot here. You lose out. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a little weird now because if he puts in a raise. It's only against Corey. They're off to a river no matter what. Right. I oh, saw that card. I mean, 10 9 gets there. It's 4 5 already had you on the flop. And it's also now any one of them that might have a diamond draw now with that turn. Henry lets it go. Wow. What you want? What? Oh, it's your wow. Uh, wow. Uh, I was contemplating a race. I thought so too. Wow, Henry just you guys, let it go. You guys let us know out there. Did, did we see sixes and he, we were misreading? Were you guys seeing sixes? I. You gotta say. Any one in the world called sixes? I, I'm shocked. I mean, assuming he had sixes. Pop a set in this game. It's like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. It's a I gift. Know. I mean, and, like he didn't even really think that long about it. He just let it go. Uh, he definitely had six. Oh my god! Wow. He just let out the the lean back. Uh, oh my god! I'm an idiot. Damn it! Wow. Reaction. I can't believe yeah, I'll pay that just I yeah. That was unreal. Unreal. And Chris over in Facebook says, "Yeah," which you did say that earlier, Chris. I mean, he was definitely playing a little timid earlier. Now it's a whole new level. This is just too much. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think you can say timid anymore. <laughs> that was, that was a. Uh, yeah, Shane over in uh, YouTube says, worst fold of the year. That was, it. I mean, we listen, we still got 10 months same. left, or nine months same now nine with months us going to March. To find out, yeah, the, that, it might hold. It might, that, you, it might hold. So that's a contender. I think I've only seen one other fold that was like absolutely one of the worst folds I think I've ever seen in, in this game. 
against that setup of a hand. The only way it could be worse is if somebody literally misreads their hand. Like I don't, I don't think it can get much worse than that. Yeah, it's, it's too good of a game to be making that pull. Allen's driving the action. I mean, and, and, and listen, Allen, Allen is super stuck. That's the person you want in there because he's just going to be in there with anything. Four ten. I, I'm, I'm shocked. Yeah, Chris says against Corey and Allen, he would have raised. I mean, either if you're not going to raise the flop and you're trapping when you call on that flop, that eight's not that scary of a card. No. I don't. And, and also at that point, there's really not a lot of combinations that are beating you in that spot. I mean, I don't, ten, I don't think ten, we need to ten, break nine. it down much more. I yeah, I mean, we all know. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we're just we're we're, we're, we're kicking a dead horse right now. I mean, I mean it was little, I, I'm shocked that he. I think, I think fold was the only wrong answer. It was raise or call, continue to trap, or raise for value. I didn't think fold was on the table until he did it. Well, I mean. I mean, you said it earlier that you, you know, you were thinking he was going yeah. to potentially put in the raise there. Wow. We have. Uh, we, we think Fee's going to try a bluff here. Yeah. I mean, he's he hasn't acted yet. He does not have the button. He would just have to get the bluff through one person. Yeah, and Chris. <laughs> uh, yeah, Chris. That's, and that's what I put it out. Like yeah. on that turn, it was, ten nine was the only hand that got there. Do you think? I just don't see how 10 9 is even there because. Right, yeah, you're not, you're, you're not well, going to pick anybody for Allen that. Allen 2x, hot size bet the flop. Right. There was 250 in the middle, and Allen led 500. Right. Corey's not calling with 10 9. No. No so, shot. Is Allen leading with 10 9 for 2x pot? No. Is Corey calling 2x pot with 10 9? No. So I don't even think you can say 10 9 no, I don't no, think mean, anybody can have it. I mean, yeah, you're not going to pick anybody to have that in that spot. Yeah, I, in this game, my flop is set. I am, you're staying in there. I am celebrating, I'm trying to get as many chips in the middle, and not thinking twice about it. Yeah, that was a... Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think it, we're all under the same consensus. That was uh, not a good fold. In the meantime, Fee did not go for the suicide bluff there. No, he did not. <laughs> Which is good because Ain literally turned and said, I haven't even looked at the river card, but I'm calling you blind if you bet. So I think he got a pretty good read that Ain was going to call him. <laughs> well, Ain's turn with pocket sixes. He hits a set, he ain't letting it go. He ain't, yeah, no, he ain't going anywhere if he hits a set. It's going to be a little hard because Henry does hold jack six. Yeah, Allen is in there. Ten Trey. Get after it. Okay. So we all got this shit right. I'm gonna I'm call up on it. So B. Put in the call for Derek Rays. <laughs> Derek obviously trying to steal it. B trying to hit something. And Allen as well. Yeah, B and Allen. Neither one wants to be the loser of the stand up game. No, considering. Like, considering what's up for grabs right now. <laughs> there we go. Let's see a flop. Ace, deuce, nine, rainbow board. And Derek hits a nine. That's the best hand. <laughs> Derek on bet 800 here. Doesn't know he's betting with the best hand, I don't think. Yeah. Nonetheless, he was the big Razor pre-flop. He gets the rep ace. Come on, Alan. You got it, buddy. 
Oh boy. It's a Thursday night over here at Best Bet Jacksonville. Now Derek, ace queen offsuit, puts in the raise. If he, if he wins a hand before you come back, yeah. Yeah, and Alan just goes <laughs> ahead and does his thing. Yeah, no, he's Ill time for Alan. Yeah, jams all snap. in. Yeah, there's snap that. Those shoves. <laughs> he was just splashing around with five tray. <laughs> he's fine. Twice. Top board is for the button. Though. Would you photo the six? Yeah. 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 Top board for the button. Six, six. I don't see if Alan can spike a six. He's a six. That's not, not even close. Not even close. The queen for Derek. Oh, no, the six comes. Ill time. You don't want to waste a six on the first board after your opponent already hit the queen. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's going to be rough. Right. So Fee is not in the hand. Uh, it's just heads up here with Alan and Derek. I have to get the action tracker situated there. Oh, seven ball. Nope. Get there. Derek's going to win. Derek takes it all. Show the hand. Eric does take it all on that. I wonder if that might be the end of Allen's night. I had a borrow from my friend. Uh, uh, any Ife, like Zell or like his, uh, yeah, like Zell, 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 one of these guys? Yeah, Zell, 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 not yet. Wait till no, yeah, you wait. win. You're gonna win. You don't have to sell shit, right? Like we're doing you a flip. Back. Flip for it all. Yeah, just uh, flip real quick. <laughs> yeah. One hand. Oh. Face up. One more. We'll do the bomb next one. Next In one the more. meantime, <laughs> let's uh, so show stats. Can you? And uh, yeah, look at this. Todd and Ain up a lot still. Uh, Special eight. Oh wait. So this is in the middle. The way things okay. look. No ten. So I got a hand still right here. Hand, an hour and a half left list, now on the live stream. And then there's a look at the beat pips. It's almost everybody 33% or higher. Yeah, Corey's just 1% away. We're just putting our 100 in. Allen in for 100. Okay. And then to raise out of the gun 100, and everyone calls, and just check the action through, okay? Oh, Alright, so we're off so that run out from the stand up game. Keep the hands down, just, just run the board. Fine. I think we're all rooting for Allen to win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pay out the loss. One board all the way out. So just check the action through. That's me! That's me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh shit, that's me, boy. I got it. I feel so lucky right now. I'm gonna show you with that and this was up. King. <laughs> Derek. King. I can't get five. King. Gallery. It's a shot so far. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ace. Ace. Hold on. Ace. I'm gonna see my hand in What the? Bro, Todd just fell with fucking. Give him your phone number so he can tell you. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. He gotta tell you eight. No, he's dead. Oh, shit. No, he's dead. You're dead. He's dead. Uh, 904. Okay, that is going to be it for Allen tonight, then. Such a shame. See him go. Definitely had a rough go of things. Most of the way. Again? Again? Do you have the button stuff? 
Are we still on? Might as well, might as well. Yeah. Alright, bomb pop first though, $50. $50. I never say no, every no. This hand doesn't count. Done, though, but I want to make sure people have a player before. Uh, what is it? 50, 50, 50. For the rake. Alright, so. The rake is free, man. Yeah, free, free, free. <laughs> I like the other way. $50 dollar bomb pops. Do the euro change. Everybody just gets 100. After that. It's faster. There. Oh, I don't What's up? Oh, I got one already. And a flip for 800 is like, what's the point? The flip for 800 is like, what's the point? Rather than winning 100. I know, but I don't really care about winning 800 either. It's like it slows the, it slows down the game. Too. Okay. Then we don't have to do it. No, let's just do the everybody gets 100. That's fine. Yeah. So can I have 100 back? It's just a uh, <laughs> next time, next time. Check. If we're gonna do a flip. Let's all put a thousand. Whatever you want, man. I'm in for it. Yeah. But everybody just wins 100. Everyone's going to win 100. How can you so no run out the end, but they will be doing the stand-up game again. That's good news for all of us watching. How can you post me? What? Can you post me? Yes. You think so? I want to do that. I know. Check, man. Check, check. Easy. I do it all the time. <laughs> Best 400. Well, pretty good hands here. Oh. He's actually going to get to scoop this one. Two pair and straight. Yeah. Oh, it's nice having a two way hand in a bomb pot. Gets to take this one down. <laughs> I'm fucking playing with who? But he's gonna stay again. Thank you. Based on that discussion previously, sounds like stand up game will be on starting this hand. Playing another round of it. Alright, game's on. Stand up, right, stand -up game is on. Hopefully, this round will be as action packed as the last time. Yeah, two, 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 two or three, three, three. 200 MM? <laughs> 200 MM? <laughs> two or three. Yeah. 200? He said two. I'm about to leave. Okay, okay. just 100? Let's chill. Just one. Then we'll wait. If you're going to leave, we'll wait till you're gone. Yeah, yeah, just I'll, keep I'll playing. Wait. We'll be good. Yeah, we'll okay. good. You call the seat. Right? 300? No stand up. No stand up. No stand up. So we play or what? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Okay, he's going to play one. Not on right now. Not on, not on. Don't bluff off 6,000. Uh, boo. Call stand up game. Not on, not on. Sad. <laughs> we can play Ray, it's 250. Huh? Let's play a private game. Whoever first time stand up? Yeah. Go down stand up. We could see some stuff as well as here. We got two players laying down. Eric and Corey. What? What? <laughs> Five players. <laughs> After we did see the original open, we saw a bunch of callers come in. No three bet out of Corey on the button with the ace jack. And we got two players flopping trips. Corbin and Fee, both with a five on nine five five. Two hearts on board as well. Could see a blowout. Raise two thousand in the three fold four, fold six seven. Here it is. Corbin raises it up. Two thousand. Trying to just get Fee to stick it all in here. Easy to assume that Fee's got some sort of flush draw. Raise all in. Call. Sure yeah, you yeah. get it in. Once. Once. All right, one time. Trips on trips. Looks like uh, Corbin's pen Corbin. is going to play. No, hell no. That ain't me. That ain't me. going to play. So we're going to see Fee get stacked here. Corbin gets to scoop it. Still going to be stuck, is Corbin, but does, un that does a little bit. A little bit towards getting you back. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Fortunate that that's only a little bit. Are you moving over there? Big, big. Yeah, I see that, 
You don't want me to see that to y'all? Why? You don't want me to see that to y'all? You don't want me to see that to y'all? Okay, you're good, you're good. He's gonna sit out for now. He's gonna sit out for now. 25.50. Just 25.50. Yeah. When uh, he gets back, he needs to post his 10. Okay, I just don't want to forget. Raise. 175. Raise seven, hold seven. Just around did put in a three bag. Hold, hold. Call seven hundred C three. Call. Corbin and Derek both putting in calls. We got three players going to a flop in a three bet pot. Seven trade, ten flop, rainbow board. Flop for Corbin. Flopping top pair. Gutter for Derek. 1,200. See if Derek wants to continue. No heart on board. No back to equity. It might be hard to continue with a gut shot. Plus, obviously, kind of stuck as the monkey in the middle here with the player behind him. <laughs> Derek's looking both ways before he crosses the street there, eyeing up both opponents' chip stacks. This is so sick. This is a really good phone. iPhone. Oh, look at that. I believe it's related. I'm TV. I don't want to look at this. Can't tell if Corey is overly relaxed or deep in the tank here. Might be both. <laughs> he, look good. He, he might be thinking of his plans, but he's like, man, this massage is great. Corey does end up holding, does let it go. No, no, I ain't got trouble. Can I get my pinhead in? I have a nice little ball. I almost called it to the yeah. Come on, you're going to be mad at yourself, huh? Yeah. You're going to hit the gutter? You're going to be mad at me? <laughs> <laughs> 10, 25, 50. Let the audience see the phone. Good pull, Derek. Four. I don't know, you were Call six. Huh? Call seven. Call eight. Call nine. Raise four hundred. Call. Did you have that? Call. 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 Comes down King Jack 7. Ian has a jack. A pair of kings for Corbin. Bet. 1,000. Fold, fold. 1,000. Doesn't want to give it up. I just hope I did the right thing. And does. I did. Good decision, man. Thank you. Looks like we got a few players stepped away for a minute. Me, me, uh, Derek, and Co. Uh, it was Corey. coming. It was coming. Stand-up game not on. Time to run in the bathroom before yeah, the next round of it does happen. Well, with an hour left on the live stream right now. Better, right? huh? better and better. True. Better and better. Flush, probably. I think I had a flush. I think I had a flush. 10, 25, 50. Chris, it's a very short, slow climb. <laughs> One step at a time. One step at a time. He uh, still is stuck. I don't know what's going on. Who's 
straddle. Quite a bit. With flat straddle, you, you're, you're still stuck there, five digits. I, yeah. I only had 25 out there. Yeah, you actually only put 50 out. If you want, you run want it. to take it back? Run it, run it, run it, run it. Okay. Uh, play, play, play. Let's go. Okay. let's go, let's go, let's go. Should be 110, 100 <laughs> Oh, did you give me right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't put the green in my wallet. Sorry, guys. 110, 50-50. Yeah. Corbin flopped two pair here. Back toward the diamonds with Todd. King up. Both. Corbin boated up. Thank you. You don't love it. The hand is over already, I think. Alright. So sit Corey out. No, just kidding. Keep him in. We only play him. Yeah. And if Corey comes back, we'll be three. It's okay. I'm I'm drilling out. I'm just done. Yeah, right. Well, I was up there for the Can you see that like, he can follow me by me and drink? <laughs> Eight bottles already, sir. Eight bottles. Hold nine. Hold one. Raise, raise, I know. Raise, raise, two fitting. Hold. I'll give you some action for you. And a call. If I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you want it. <laughs> Bet. One, two, five. Thank you, Corey. Appreciate it. Alright, now sit Corey out. I don't know, you need some more wings, huh? You need, you need some wings, right? <laughs> you did it. Go. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you man. Hold one. Raise. How much? Two seventy five. Hold four. Damn, call. Oh, look nice. Then he nice now he take all the spot, you know, for all those tips, all the cuts on the yeah. table. Yeah, Todd. Uh, Todd get definitely got comfortable. Good mm. Hard not to be. No, rainbow board Check. nine deuce eight. Bet six hundred fold and a call. Four on the turn. Check check. check. We go check check. He's on the check, river. Check, check. I got here. Mm. Mm. Good. You're very good. <laughs> mm. Hey, buddy. Poison. Poison, straddling for 50. Yeah, almost so everybody's to back to the table, huh? The yeah, break time over now. Raise 500 and a three, fold four. Hold. Call. And a call. Looks like we got three players to this flop. Todd playing the Octo Crab. Deuce, deuce, okay. Trey. Okay. Right, all right. Todd with two pair of trays and deuces. This is our check around. Queen on the turn. Vaughn takes the lead, huh? Yeah. Wild guess. Who now is ahead there? Sixty? Sixty dollars. <laughs> 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 That's a value bet. And a half. <laughs> and Todd's like, whatever. I'll call the sixty. <laughs> 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 That's 600. 600 gets called too. Part of the next. 
Jack, ace, Trey, two diamonds. Corey gets an ace. That's really about it. So I think the bet was actually 400. It was, yeah. They actually put 300 in. Now five. I'm Nobody wondering. folded. Nobody folded. Now diamonds are out there. Checks around. King of Hearts on the river. Ace seven for Corey. Gonna be good enough. <laughs> Corey picks off that bluff. That's good enough for a nice payday. We pause it for you. Caught aim speed on that one. I do all the time. I just don't remember. I only remember when I beat you. Talk to him. 25, 50. He's in for 5,000 now. 100's on. Looks like B is back. You heard that sound, straddle 100. Moving on over to the two seat this time, huh? Yeah, moving over to Allen's seat. Straddle the 3 to 100. Well, for him. Not quite. Not. Not quite. No, appreciate Alan. We'll see him back in the room soon. Raise sometime. What are you scared of, man? Everything, call, 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 call. No raise ever? And I think we chopped it up. Like, he hit a lot of hair, and I had a high touch. Bet. Just nine and three. Bet. Seven. These five do swap. Two diamonds again. Swap really didn't hit anybody. A little bit of a dry spell with that. Although Corbin and uh, ain't in the spot in this hand, so they're going to stay at it. Now, ten of diamonds shows up. Corbin does have a ten. Eleven hundred. And the king of diamonds. And the king of diamonds. So yeah, couldn't ask for a much better turn card for Corbin. Yeah, Corbin. Five thousand. He's just going for it. Wow. Get a great turn card, but now your opponent puts in a huge check raise. Yeah, and with the way with the way Ana has been playing tonight, thinking of your Corbin, I was like, man, did he get there on the turn? Did he already complete his flush with potentially holding the Ace of Diamonds? That chance you're drawing dead. Yeah. Just does not feel good if you're Corbin. It's definitely feeling right. You can tell he really doesn't want to fold. Seems pretty aware of what's going on. Yeah. What's in the call? Going with his gut. Yeah. 
Then it's a wild night. Well, fourth diamond. That's probably going to... I think it was shut aim down. I think it would, but... He is going to bet 3,000 now. Too small. I mean, Corbin's never folding now. No. I mean, Corbin doesn't like the fact that there's a fourth diamond there, but... I mean, it does complete the flush for him, obviously. He was already ahead. And the graphic isn't showing all of Corbin's chips. He did chip up a couple of times tonight. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's the 3K chip up. Yeah, he's got he's got more than plenty. It looks like he has 75 behind. Yeah. And facing all in, it might not be a snap call. Yeah. Either way, huge pot going Corbin's way. Corbin needed that one. Wow. Massive one. Put a huge dent. Puts a dent. Yeah, puts a dent in the, in, the, in the aim, but also for Corbin. Now, that massive hole he was in, and he's almost dug himself out of it now. Now, bro. <laughs> now you even, now you even. Not broke, you even. <laughs> they say he turned the stream off. <laughs> yeah, he's close. Look at that. Look at that. I said, delete the hand. <laughs> no, he gave three thousand points. Fuck you up. Yeah, that's how he fucked you Shadow, 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 shadow. Shadow, shadow, shadow. I was like, hold that shit. 100. 100. Uh, I think it's 50. 10, 20. 100, 100, 100. Corbin completing that flush. <laughs> I was saying Corbin gets paid so much in a such a bad bluff by Ian and wants it to lead it from history. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up just remove it. It's hilarious. I gave you the biggest gift earlier. I knew I was ahead. I mean, I'm going to tell you about it. No, I was going to jam. I'll bet you check. I was just going to jam. I was never going to And that's a big, a big pot for him. Like I said, he's close to he's close to being even now. Try to hit ace. All you can hit is ace. Queen eight nine flop. Bet two hundred. Maybe. Pair of eights for fee. I did. I mean, I knew I was ahead. I still folded just because. Yeah, fourth diamond coming out, kind of, you know, made it a little harder for Aim to try to bluff, but he did still attempt it. Would have been interesting to see if no diamond came, any right. sort of brick. Doesn't improve Corbin, but isn't a scare card either. Yeah, and if Aim fired out on that bluff and everything, it might have worked. No parachute. Raise one pitch in the sun. I did it earlier too. I'm back to normal. I'm back. I'm back to normal. I'm back to broke. I forgot I got no more. Oh, you so rash and close. I love you. Well, we'll keep playing, though. Yeah, we're the 11th, though. Check. 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 No Get in there, Here we go. Todd fired out our tens. Derek from the whole plus draw. Right color, wrong suit on the turn when it comes to juice of hearts. <laughs> Todd that small. <laughs> Trying to keep Derek in there. Derek does call. <laughs> To a river, which comes the diamond tray of diamonds. If I was winning, it would work. Yeah, yeah. If I'm losing, it, that's why. No, but it, it would be 500. Derek going to for value here. It's going to be tough to get paid. As any ace makes a wheel in addition to the front door flush coming in. See Todd just let it go. 
something, buddy? Yeah. What's up? 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 Somebody out. <laughs> 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 quieting down these interesting turn cards. And improves a pair of eights up top, proves to a flush draw down bottom now. Everybody kind of just playing it coy, checking it through. Now Aim does make that straight up top that he was looking for. They're obviously still holding two pair down bottom. Corey, meanwhile, going to be the one betting out. Goes with 400. Maybe a blocker size. He has a small piece on each board. <laughs> See you, Henry. I heard Ames thinking about going real big here, trying to just push some people. Let's just a call. We're gonna see Derek put in the call as well with his two pair down bottom. Is there a list? I heard Ian say I didn't want to get quartered. That's why he didn't raise it up. It will be Thank him you. and Derek chopping this one up. Thank you. Corey, no good on either board. Sending him into the muck. But once again, do thank everybody for tuning in with us, watching along. Now hitting our overtime bonus coverages. They elected to play for an extra hour. Normally the stream would end here, but we do have another hour of coverage on this table. Been a very fun game. Happy to be bringing it to you for a little bit longer than normal. I know it's been a fun watch for us here in the booth. Hope it's been a fun watch for you guys at home. Or wherever you are. You don't have to be at home. Oh yeah, he's gone. That's good. Uh, Two, two, three, two, two. It's going to be the last one, so let's do it. I did see Henry rack up and call it a day out of the one seat. Not without making his mark on this table in the form of some viewers claimed as the worst fold of the year, and nobody here was arguing it. So we're on? Yeah, we're on. This slide over. And now, all six are playing the stand-up game for 200 a person. And while we will be short-handed, there should be no shortage in the action between these six. Don't fall. Not in stand-up. <laughs> we immediately see a raise, three calls, going four ways to the flop of King, six tray. Nobody. Got a real hand free flop. We're all getting in there, mixing it up, spicing things up. He's trying to hit a pair. He's trying to win, you know? What the fuck? Yeah. Heart. Call the chat. Face me a chat. Deuce. Hit you in four ways to flop. Check. Check seven. You got it? Eight. What do you got? What do you got? Check. I don't know. Check. 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 Call. Oh, 
Oh, that Derek gets a 5k pot, pushed his way. Going to be the first player safe from the stand-up game. Always nice to be the first one. saw Corbin take a stab there. Let's see if he continues to do so or if anybody else starts taking stabs as well. These guys have been hyper-aggressive with and without the stand-up game all night. Yeah, someone that give me back my money. Maybe Corbin. His stacks are six thousand on the street. Obviously, they didn't get your pot that way. I mean, that you gotta give me back there. Yeah, it doesn't count. Y'all gotta give me back. <laughs> Here we saw Todd wake up with a monster, put in the three bet. So if Ain and Corbin have pocket pairs, happy to put in the call. Trying to spike a set against Todd's ace king. <laughs> Up came down. Jack, eight, four. Ain's nines are still best. We're going to see him just jam it. The check's over to him. Oh, I'm trying to see if he's <laughs> priced in to try and go for it here. Hey, I only one time I hate this shit. Okay, you. Alright, Todd does put in the call. We'll be off to two runouts. Todd will be hoping to spike an ace or a king. See if he can catch up to ace nines. Oh, he got a sweat. So I talk about Twice, Bubba, give me the pink chip. I want the pink chip for you. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> and it does hold on both boards. God does not improve. Rare, rare low light on Todd's night. Obviously, he's been crushing it as a monster stack in front of him. <laughs> See that he is human after all. The pot gets pushed away from him. I'm gonna play. If, if the game goes, I'll play. I'm done with the I'm whatever. I guess us six or five. Oh yeah, hit up Greg. Tell him to come now because by the time he gets here. Chris, that may not be a. Uh, that may not be a. Oh, I can't. I can't. A out of the realm uh, request with the way this game is playing. I think that's a very strong likelihood. I'm going with likelihood, huh? Yeah. I went with possibility. Possibility is good too. Yeah, obviously, uh, games kind of slowed down a little bit, but 
still been a very big action game, to say the least. Corey Swamp Nuts got no action on it, unfortunately for him. And again, guys, just a reminder, uh, we will be back at it tomorrow. There's a 2-2 uh, two, two deep stack game that we'll have going tomorrow night. And then on uh, Saturday, we'll be back at it with a 2-5 deep stack cash game. We enter our March schedule. Hard to believe that we're already entering the month of March. I only only 30 minutes away. Yeah, we are. Literally 30 minutes away. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> we're almost there. We are almost there indeed. We've already seen the worst fold of the year. So no need to look for that anymore. Yeah, that was still... And, uh, what else is done? What else is done? Still pretty bad. Still thinking about it, and yes, that was still very bad. At least you're thinking about that now. You previously couldn't let go of the Kyle grossness. <sighs> that was just, oh man, that was just, that was just bad. Like how that happened. Like that was the ultimate like roller coaster of, oh, this is great, and then that ace comes on the river. The like, worst card to come. Ah, uh, yeah. That was tough. Meanwhile, Todd here has a pair of kings. So it's not tough as flopping top pair. Yeah. Mixed, mixed emotions on that one, too. <laughs> yeah, I was going to raise, and I'm like, let me just go back. <laughs> Seven of diamonds on the turn now. So now Todd has the check mark on his hand. He's got it, basically. Corbin is going to let it go. Todd scoops that up, gets his button. By one. Of course, Alan uh, took a little bit of a, well, a little bit. I uh, took a beating tonight. Unfortunately for Alan. I call you though, my FaceTime. Again, just a super likable guy. It was uh, tough to see that not only did he get busted out, but ended up having to pay the bounty for the. Uh, <laughs> for the uh, stand-up game. That's a little insult to injury. Yeah, very much so. Well, here, the way it looks, it's only Fee and Corbin not safe in the stand-up game. Oh, just got his button there. Oh, there. Fee and Corbin. One of them paying out the bounty. They did up it this round, being shorthanded, I think 200 a person. Mm -hmm. They're talking about a 1k penalty. You guys are up. You three are up. You four are up. He's not up. Oh, wait, he's up. He's up. So, so you four are up. It's only us two. And uh, Alan. Alan. He lost Alan had a tough round. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that sums it up. Allen did indeed have a tough night. True. 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 All you gotta say. All you can leave it at. Meanwhile, here, again, Fee, Corbin, last two players in the stand-up games. We see Fee open. Corbin snap calls with 7 6. Fee actually wakes up with a monster pocket queens and it's in a spot where he'd be opening really light trying to steal the blinds away. See a jack nine nine flop. These queens far and away the best hand. Let's see if Corbin wants to try to bluff at it. Knowing that if he folds and then Todd lets it go behind it. 
Mikey has to lose her stand-up game. He might try to rep a nine. Here comes the check raise. Made it 1900. Todd obviously gets out of there now. Back on feet with this over pair. Yeah, it makes it a very interesting uh, play here by Corbin with the raise with just air. And just trying to steal this one away and not lose the stand up game with this raise. A noose and a joker is a puts V in a very weird spot here because I mean this flop looks safe for Queen <laughs> at the same time take away the stand-up game dynamic yeah okay, Queens are holding blockers to a lot of the semi bluffs in Queen 10 obviously from what we've seen the last couple of hours Corbin not afraid to get after it though and v has been here for all of it mm -hmm. And there's the all-in, and Corbin immediately letting go. Assuming, assuming, assuming Fee shows his hand, he'll get his button. Oh, oh he didn't show! He mucked he 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 his hand, he didn't show! Oh my gosh! Fee! V, you flubbed. Oh, oh, come oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Game continues. <laughs> v, please. Oh my god. Wow. It's been a while since we've seen somebody do it. I think the last person that we saw do that was maybe Jimmy. Right. On the live stream. And pre-flop was like 300. What you doing with a five, man? I'm hoping that's what you thought. Wow. He forgot to show his hand and... No button for him. Logistics. Of it, right? yeah. I said it was going to happen. Fuck you, Give me the picture. Hey, where the hell is my flag? <laughs> 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 We're going to see Corbin raise it up. <laughs> Corbin obviously going to try to steal the spot. I got one. I'm pissed off now. Alright, Queen's Is that two say bye? Yep. If I win this hand, you you owe a thousand. Wait, that's enough? Yeah, that's the whole point. That was that was that was the other thousand that was important. Oh god. Oh, you so you want to? It's alright. Yeah, he lost it. He's like, he fucked it off for you. Corbin only has one caller and he spikes the ace on the flop. So now we're going to see Corbin bet, hey, presumably take this one down. Yep, and then, then <laughs> Fee's going to have to pay the bounty. All because he forgot the show. <laughs> oh, man, he just added it to the screen. So good. Keep it going, keep it going. Thanks. Two. <laughs> All because he forgot to show. Three hundred this time. I got two. Two, two, two. Moral of the story: Let's take this as a learning opportunity. Always check the details. I think this is a very valuable lesson for Fee. <laughs> the devil is in the details. It is. 100%. Stand up game is on. I blast. Corbin's not lying. Everybody's in? Yeah, they did re up the stand up game, so. We're going to go right back at it here. So Corbin opened 400 and just about everybody put in the call. King 5 7 he gets flop. A, he gets a nice flop. Yeah, pretty good flop. Top pair, second nut blood draw for Corbin. Yeah, really strong. Everybody else with a small piece. Ian, pair of fives. Todd, pair of sevens. Corey's still holding his pocket eights. 
Yeah, and even then, the swap is and not terrible for AIDS. We also just saw Corbin really get after it on that last round. Saw him yep. just two hands ago put in that big check raise as a bluff. Mm -hmm. So easy, easy to find well, at least one non-believer out there, potentially. But the pocket pairs were all out of position. Weaker hands are in position. He knew there's, what to put in the call. There's his non-believer. B is uh, already mentally checked out of this hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fee's over it. He's like... There we go. And Corbin to the turn. Shut down 10 of spades. <laughs> hey... Put the flag away. Doing some inventory. Let's check it. Corbin bet 2K. Okay, so the action has been on AIM after AIM checked it for Corbin. Corbin bet 2K. Nah, you look like a strong man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, let's go. He's going to see that he made the right fold. Corbin does show to receive his stand-up game button. So a, little, a little better for uh, Corbin here to get the stand-up button. First, early this time around first this time around right you were gifted in the last one because we forgot the show nobody reminded me this way wait until you get one You still go crazy? That's a button. You're mine, you gotta pay. <laughs> Corbin's opened things up again, even though he's safe this time around. It's two and a quarter to go with eight, seven of diamonds. <laughs> Here we see a bunch of calls come in. Todd and Ian. Both put in their call. Off we go to King. Five dudes, two clubs on board. Looks like Corbin's C bet. Should get the job done. Say should. <laughs> should. Here comes the wild card. Ain't did put in a big race. He gets to just steal it. He's high good. That's hilarious. That's a name I haven't seen in a while in the YouTube chat. What's up, old heck? <laughs> It's okay, top pay for it. It's okay. Top pay for it. Gets a little excited. Accidentally spiked the cards a little too hard. Man, come oh, on, me a fucking drink, man. I need drink. <laughs> you call a cocktail? I gotta get my buddy a drink. Oh, she almost got it. Round honey, man. Huh? <laughs> Late night poker, man. Yeah, you already got your pink button, man. Yeah, you want feet. We'll go with a real hand with pocket tens. Okay. One with a small three bet of 500. I'll get another one. Snap call from the pot of eight. <laughs> Hey, if we get two pink, myself one, keep one for myself. <laughs> okay, go ahead. John asking, my God, who is the giggler? Uh, uh, it could be a couple of people on this table. Yeah. That one was Derek, though. A lot of the times it's Ain there in the eighth seed. Yeah. I just having a good time. It's having a lot of fun. It's been a pretty massive game. Everyone's had a good time. 
Todd says, save your money, and Todd's going to get a stand-up game button. Yeah, pair of jacks was best. <laughs> Corbin has a button, Todd has a button, Ain has a button. You're breaking every car. So halfway every through. Every time you slam that shit down, you break the car. I don't give a shit, Corbin. What'd you do? Bake it, do Oh, I paid for it. We pay for it. Fucking $16 a goddamn round. Some limps here. Something we haven't seen in a while. We haven't seen this in. I haven't seen this in five hours and 32 minutes. <laughs> time, time. But not during the stand-up game, that's no. for sure. Right. Off we go. Went five ways. Someone just swapped the set. Set of sixes for Fee. That happened to be the case six, too, because Corbin holds 10-6. Not a single player with a spade. Yeah, no spade whatsoever. Fee's going to just lead out with that set. Imagine. It'd be hard for anybody to do much with this board. They all let it go. <laughs> he showed it this time. He did show it this time. He's learned from his mistake. He did, yeah. Hey, listen. I mean, that ended up being a uh, $800 mistake. Considering he took down the pot for 2200 and then had to pay the bounty after Corbin took the last button. Last 30 minutes, y'all. All right, so here we are. Final 30 minutes of the live stream. And then we will send you guys home. There it is. Todd up 12K. Corey's up. Derek is up. Ain is up. Corbin still stuck, but not stuck nearly as much as he was. Stuck almost 20 earlier. Yeah, so he was working his way out of it a bit. Uh, Fee, the most stuck at the table. And then, yeah, look at the V-Pips. That's uh, been the story for the night. It has been very much an action table. No shortage. No shortage in the action today. No. That's for sure. Definitely has not been. Just a reminder, as they go off to this double board hold on bomb pot, bomb pot is not part of the stand-up game, just, just in case there's any confusion on that one. Thanks again, Appreciate it. Call three. Call four. So feel thinned a little bit. A multitude of hands here. It just keeps getting stranger. Queen eight now improves with straight up top and a gut shot down bottom for Todd. Corey had two pair down bottom, drawing dead against Fee's flop set down bottom. Meanwhile, Corbin had top pair up top, adds a gut shot to it now. It's a little bit for everybody here. Not often you see Bomb Pot continue so multi way. Corbin, let it go. Corey, correctly getting away from it there as well. And now a magical run out for Todd as his queen eight does hit that gutter ball down bottom. Oh wow, straight on both boards. Huh. You can now bet for going for the max, huh? 3K. Thought maybe he would bet small for value, but going with the big bet. Yeah, making it look super bluffy, super fishy. Four. On the other side, too, if his opponent has an eight somehow, he's never folding. Right. And you would get to quarter your quarter him. Yep. You can never really be losing to anything yourself. If he has king, queen up top, then you have the bottom board. If he has seven, eight, you get three quarters. Just dream spot. Straight, straight. Todd does get paid off as he puts in that call with his set. Huge pot going Todd's way. And, uh, this ends up being a, a, a great night continuing for Todd. A terrible night continues for Fee. 
kind of been the theme for both of them so far. Oof. Brutal run out for Fee there as Todd went runner runner for the straight down low. God, Only God, really needs a seven down low. God. Hits both boards. They paid off. Gonna add those chips to his mount in front of him. Back underway, stand up game. Got three players with the button, three players without, if I, believe, if I remember correctly. Actually, it's down to just two players without their button. Derek and Corey there in the middle. Oh my god, wow. Look at Cor Corbin's just making gift wrap this entire stack. Wow, what is going on? Ian went for the trap, back jam with Ace King. Oh no. Just last week we saw Ian pull off the same move with Aces. Yeah. He went for it with Ace King here and it's going to blow up his face as Corbin's got Aces. Aces is good. Yeah, Aces are good. <laughs> They're way good. Still way good. It's not gonna change anything. I've been going one all night. I always go one. I went once all night. I think you've been once. All night. I think you went twice. Once with Alan and Rush. Oh yeah, all yeah. He made an exception for Because he had like a thousand. Yeah. We're gonna show you cards, huh? I ain't got shit. We were talking about how Corbin was almost unstuck on that last stats update. Now, uh, I would have to venture. Just short he's of it just then. short of even now. Wow. Back. He was almost down 20,000 earlier in the night. And now he's back. almost even. <laughs> wow. What a turnaround. Absolutely crazy. Sick comeback from Corbin. Corbin's going to continue the aggression, raising it up from the button. A little dangerous as two players in a small and big blind. Corey and Derek are the two players remaining without their button. They are not going to give it up easy. Todd happy to come along as well. Check. 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 9-6 flop. Everybody's going to check. Another 6 comes on the turn. Double paired board. Corbin's going to use that as a green light to throw out a little bet. Try to steal it. Derek's going to call. He is open-ended. Obviously, never come to be open-ended on a double-paired board, but... Straight draw. He doesn't connect. Let's see if he looks at it. There it is. Jack on the river, so he does not hit it straight. Sitting here with playing the board. He's going to bluff at it, try to steal this one away. 350 Corbett snap calls with King High. Snap call. Course. There was never a doubt. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. He picks off the bluff and takes it down. He's due. Call you a king high, man. Thank you, Corbett. You bluff all the money, son. Hey, hey, do I get like, you know, some kind of incentive? <laughs> <laughs> do I owe you money? Of course. <laughs> That's how you got one. Hold one, hold. I bought him for a lot more than just that three. I know, but like, yeah, but that's how you came back. Raise, 150. I'll tell you. You would have been out of action. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Don't tell me I want all this shit back. <laughs> <laughs> Raise 450. Well, they were joking over there. We got Derek raising it up. Corey putting in the light three bit with the 9 8. Yeah. Call 450. Ain's going to get in there though. Puts in the call 10 8. Yeah, Derek happy to put in the call to his pocket trays. Can you push on? Three-way Three action going to this flop. Comes down ace, four deuce, two spades on boards. Derek with a straight draw. Corey, though, has a three-better. Going to continue firing on an ace high board. He's hoping to steal this one away. Aim full, so that makes it official. Winner of this pot. Will be safe. Loser of this pot loses the stand-up game. Call 650. You see Derek put in the call with his wheel draw. Now another ace comes on the turn. Does Corey want to keep trying to rep it? Does not. Just checking it over. Now if you're Derek, do you think this is a trap of some kind? Going to play it safe. Check it back. Now Brick 10 on the river. Corey sitting here with nine high. Only way to win is bluff. That was about 1,100. Call oh, this one. If I lose, I lose another thousand. <laughs> Derek, I have to think about this one for a minute. If you don't put in the call, you can't win the stand up game put in the call, and you're wrong, you lose both. Very interesting spot. And there he does, put in the call. Derek didn't think he would get good news here. Sure enough, he does. Picks off the bluff. Thank you. My family said thank you. Family said thank you. I'm the best. Corey, paying everybody out, losing the stand-up game that time around. That was the last one. Yeah. Derek picked it off. Everything. Alright, stop. 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 Alright, Thank you. Oh, family say thank you. <laughs> my family say thank you. They need it. Mom, my friend say no. Mom, game was on. I would play that. Oh, man, yours only twenty-five. Twenty-five? <laughs> yeah. That's what I discussed. Stand-up game is not on. We are nearing the wrap-up of tonight's stream. About 10, 15 minutes left. Call. It's been a big, big pleasure bringing the live stream to you guys out there watching. Appreciate what's been tuning in, hanging out with us. Throw the bag up. Flop team down 4-4 four, four the juice. Throw the bag up. In with best hand. Corey. <laughs> with a straight draw. Saw Corey stab, and now we're going to see Ian raise. Got a little ammo in there. I saw a five. I saw a five in there. Ball comes in. Return to eight of diamonds. Best. Five on two. Fucking put up the big Great fires. That one's turned. Does make him double double oh, gutted. He's gonna call again. Before he gets there with his straight when the trade falls on the river. Now, can Corey get paid off? Oh. 2K and Ains a non-believer puts in the call. 
straight. <laughs> <laughs> Big pot getting pushed Corey's way, fresh off of his stand up game loss. Undoes the damage there. You have cold too. I'm the best, man. I'm a grinder now. I'm fucking, I ain't no fucking around. I don't fuck around no more. The whole thing is bad. I'm a grinder now. I'm a grinder now. You see, all I need to do is table four grinders. What the hell do I call that? You let us see. Did you draw? I call that action. 150. Damn. I would have called my ass. How you doing? Five thousand. I bet two. You got a little bit of ammo. Oh, 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 turn, turn, okay, baby. I have a gutter. I'll never see you running. Oh, drop a little bit of wood. Hold one. Whoa. You see my hand, anybody? I did. You don't say anything. I didn't see nothing, but I don't know. Like, I hope we got stickers for the rules. Yeah, we got stickers. I don't think it's bad for them. I don't think it's bad for them. It's alright, it's alright. Three ways in is eight king, trade two diamond flop. But uh... Kane and Derek both flopping the pair of kings. Derek's kicker is best. When they check it over to Todd, he is going to fire out at it. Throws out 250. I think this game is better than that game. <laughs> Both players put in the call. Not great turn for Derek, turning two pair with his king queen. I don't believe you, that's number one. That motherfucker looks like he needs fucking all in. And with a misread of the night, decides to fire out his remaining chips as an all in. Right into Derek's turn two pair. Yeah, pretty quick call for Derek. And... One time only. One time only. One time only. Huh? Okay, two times, two times. Okay, 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 you got King X? Just flip it over, bro. You might have two more. He's drawing dead to a chop. Doesn't chop it up on either one, and that is going to be it. That chip stack. 13 minutes. 13 minutes. <laughs> I'll see you in 15 minutes. I'll see you over there. So what are we doing? We can... You're going home? Yeah, I'll see you in 15 minutes. Go get it. Go get it back. <laughs> hey, 2550. Hey, do I want to get it? Okay, bro. Don't keep going. Oh. <laughs> oh. That is going to be it for Ian tonight. Went out a blaze of glory, that's for sure. As he calls it for the live stream. About 10 minutes remaining. Looks not to rebuy. I'm the grinder. Don't do that bullshit. Disappointing. 200 in a fold. My session with this one. Thanks, bro. You can see Fee steal a pot away there. Not something we've been able to say too much tonight. Fee's had a pretty a rough go of things. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, getting sure. money from <laughs> fucking every. I saw you were a man on the gotta be like, I was like selling people, like Apple paying yeah. people, <laughs> going to the fucking I'm car. Like, I'm even like 15 You went everywhere to get some one game. Uh, I was getting like 500 here and there, 500 <laughs> here. Yeah, he was like, you found that on the floor? <laughs> Every time you walk back, you like, I was rolling quarters. I was rolling quarters with the ATM. Fold. Raise 225. Fold. 
What happened? What did I call? Uh, I called back. I was down 20. I had to go find some money somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do a fix in. He did. He did. He did. He did. Wow. Talking about finding some money, Corbin finds a lot flush, and Corey bets right into him. Just gonna check and call. Trap it. Queen on the turn. Corey did turn open ended, Alexa just check it back that time. Now Brick Deuce on the river. Everyone does, bro. That it's so good. I really think about it. Like it's so good for the game. Yeah, because of the setup game, that's why I got a call. Get my Been liking it over there, DJ? I stopped playing this since yesterday. You started or stopped? Yeah. It's pretty good. Raise 125. Raise 350. Corey opened things up. Todd put in the immediate 3-bet. Corey put in the call. We're going to be heads up to the flop. King, Jack, 10, two clubs. Action quickly goes check, check. So six of clubs turns. <clears throat> Quick check, check again, and now nine of clubs river. Neither player holding the club. Corey gonna bluff at it. I mean, his hand is no good. And Todd reluctantly folds his pair of tens. Let's Corey steal one away. Can you keep some back there? I mean, if you want to give me I'll give you guys ten. That's awesome. You should make them pay for this. <laughs> you paid you paid for them. They're worth 200. But it's one of the fees. Sorry. I'm, I'm sure they weren't cheap. Oversized chips the online. The lawyer fees were the most expensive. Okay, so what do you mean? Yeah. Really? Hold three, four. Raise one, two, five. Got her on Todd. Raise it up, steals it away. Call it, call it. Tell him. Oh, it's 10 minutes left. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there's no one on the No, yeah, there's no one on the no, There's been no one on the list for a while. Yeah, but sometimes if you call, like, you know. I had him do that about an hour ago. But as things Call, like, do wind down into the final 10 minutes, one guy came by. It's like, what is it, 2K? I like want to say thanks to everybody's been tuning in, watching along with us, hanging out here on this live stream. Been coming to you live from Best Bet here in Jacksonville, Florida, just after midnight on the East Coast. So, thanks to everybody who's been staying up late, watching along. Oh, I thought I was. Done. I put the 50 out, right? Yeah, no. Been quite the game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I put the 50 out. You're only 25. You're only 25. Yeah, you're just a 25. You're 25. So Corey raise just 20. limps with his fours. Tom gonna raise Call things 60. up. Twenty eight. Seven suited, and Corey gonna be the only caller with those fours. Off we go, heads up to ace, nine, seven, two pair for Todd. Small C bet. <laughs> Corey puts in the call. Deuce comes, deuce, or three. Deuce or three, king on the turn. Todd, that's again. Corey doesn't quite believe him, but he's going to be happy to see that he made that fold as Todd shows him the 8-7, takes it down. All right, I think we are getting close to final three hands of the night. And we will send you all home. It's been a fun one. Oh. No, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why 
I did this four, this one's not in there, it's these three, okay? I know. I got it. That one's the right one. You're right. No, a little bit. All in there. Hold three. What is it? Eleven ten. Rip it in with the top pair. Derek sitting here, <laughs> double gutted. I can't imagine he's going to fold. There is that call. Looking for a tray or a seven. Obviously, we could see an eight would be good as well. Even if he doesn't think that he needs an eight. He's looking to make a trade. What about twice? What do I do about twice? One time, man. One time, man. Do that. Do <laughs> <So>. that. <laughs> you wanna go twice? You wanna go twice? Take me out, man. You wanna go twice? Do that. Once. 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 Sounds like one. Fuck. That's me. Oh fuck, not one. Fives and fours. What? He hit in a way. You he did. Didn't. Give him my fucking money. Win. <laughs> nah. So he just takes the double up. Yeah. Call me with a double gutter. Uh -uh. She trying to take my last little thousand dollars over here with a fucking double gutter. Is it twice? What's wrong with this guy? Thank you. You know that. Final three hands of the night. Final three hands. No more. Fucking my final hand. I fucking took my fucking. All right. So we are. Uh, we're actually going to be doing final two hands of tonight. Final two hands. Spoiler. Spoiler. Yeah. Final two hands. So. Two more hands uh, after this, and then we will send you guys two. home. Play for real or flip? Home? No. Uh, yeah. For real. Let's do like 100 ante or 200 ante. Well, for some. Like, play it normal. Oh, like bomb three bomb Just like, yeah. It's like three bomb pots? Hold them, no. Hold them. Oh, let's do like an ante, like 100 ante. What are we doing? I don't know. Fuck that. What are we doing? Yeah, because then we can. I love how like, we always we'll announce like we'll final hands, and like, they're like, oh, this is for final hands. Okay, we'll play, we'll play, we'll play. It's like, just play. Just play, guys. Just play. There's like no reason to overcomplicate it. Fucking good at ball, fucking strong, man. Fucking good. Hey, it's 125. Dead. Fold. I'm trying to go all in the fucking system now. Yeah, my six was good. I want to play a real big ball, right? Like the last three hands of the night, right? I'm going to try to. Yeah, Fold. That's a fucking good ball. We're gonna be going three ways. Four hundred in the middle. <laughs> right, so we are at a flop. Blue man six. Right. Todd led right out. Hit flop for pair plus flush draw. Massive flop for Todd. He's gonna take it down. Out any trouble there. Yeah. All right, so final hand that we will be showing on the live stream again. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. But this is going to be the final hand. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Appreciate you guys watching. As uh, yeah, again, this is going to be the final hand of the night on the live stream. Just want to say happy happy leap day, everybody. Yeah, happy leap day. Now that it's over, it's Welcome over. March. Yep, we are now March first. The anticlimactic limp pot. It is yeah. between Corbin and Todd, the two big stacks. It is. Don't Ten think we're going to get that 40k pot, though. No, unfortunately not. Oh, been nice. Check, check, flop. Yeah, check, check. Rick on the turn. Yep. Corbin's gonna stab. Todd is holding a pair of tens. He's gonna put in the call. Yep. Todd basically has his hand. Corbin drawing dead. Fuck you. Fuck I just give you a thousand good of all. Puts a four liner on the river, so yep. action goes check check, and that's gonna do it. That will be it. We'll do one quick stat check before we do wrap up. That's the way it looks. Todd. The we're yeah. big winner tonight, and that is going to be it for tonight. Corbin officially got unstuck. That is what a it. comeback. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. 2-2 Deep Stack. Until then, y'all take care. Be easy. Thanks for watching.